Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody out there, YouTube land. It's Moz coming to you with another episode of Toy Photography Talk. And I apologize for the weird mishap with the intro. That was weird as, like, the button I click on, for some reason, the, the thing slid when I went to go click on it. So I clicked on the wrong thing, and then when I went to go fix it, it slid again. It was really weird. So that was fun. But let's get our panel in here. Um, one of them couldn't decide how to stay, so he came and left. And then the other one... Just got here, and uh, let's add them all. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, Moss, yeah, one job. Smooth. Very smooth. Very smooth, Moss. Very smooth. I can't help it. The thing moved. <laughs> sure. It grabbed right. it on me. Okay? It grabbed it on sure. me. Um, it's, it's always a monito that's always the problem. Dude, it was weird, man. It's really weird. Um, let's give a shout-out to the chat real quick, man. Look, look, man, guys. Jesse, able to make this live stream. Finally, hey, able to catch the live stream. Yeah, What's up? Cloud Foxwell in the house. Cloud. Little foxes going on. Uh, Mikey, who uh, came and left and then came back again. <laughs> Pablo. Uh, JP Rex in the house. What's up, people? Everyone had awesome shots this week. Yeah, there's a lot of great shots. Um, the Wintzilla reboot. What's up, uh, Wintzilla? And, of course, the Alpha Raptor the Evening Alpha Guys. Raptor. And Noble Young, first one, of course. Maz, you're not working or preparing for this show. Um, nope. I was actually on another show um, before this one uh, today. So. I was on geeking out for a little bit. So we got to talk about that Batman drop. Uh, unlike uh, Harry, who wants to talk about it now, but we can't. Uh, controversial Toys in the house. <laughs> Hello to the chat real quick. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? An old night photo. Sup? Yep, Emerald. Go, go figure, figure go. go. We've got some yeah. shout outs from GoFigureGo. Go. Toy Mer. Hey, hey. Uh, how you doing, buddy? Dark, Dark Matter, Matter Art. What's up, all? How you doing? Uh, right there. <laughs> Machu. Machu Toy, man. I was watching Machu. him on the Machu? stream, uh, toying around, I think, and I said hi, and he just totally ignored me. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's just Maz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just um, Maz. Go figure, go. Playing sup to peeps. Um, Star Crash, what Star is Crash. up? Man? How you doing? What up? And of course, Machu Toy again. What up, go? Oh, that's not even to us, man. All right, go away. <laughs> Mark is back. Hello, Mark watching is for the first time. Mark, thanks for being here, man. Mark, Love you, Mark. Mark. Big fan, big fan, super, super fan. Guys, how was y'all's week this week? Anything interesting happened? All right, all right. Nah, not much. 
Nothing sure. that nothing too 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 exciting. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just new toys, new shots, and stuff. Same old, same old. Right. Did uh, manage to get a few on New Jersey. Photos done. Some stuff. Yeah, nice. you were. You were nice. A lot of stuff going on out there. I got my mail this week. So, uh, you know, I got this guy again. I haven't opened yeah, the figure yet. <laughs> I haven't yeah, opened the figure yet. He's still in the box. So, you know, just looking good. Get to do the the figure. Figure. Yeah, I've been busy. I'm busy. Uh, <laughs> Machi Toy said, to be fair, we couldn't see the chat because he was using OBS and I was running on fumes of the toy show. It was a 24-hour stream. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah that, that chat oh, thing was kind of crazy. Just like you guys don't give me any slack for clicking the wrong button, I give you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's different, man, because you're running the show. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. I can't. Click my button. Um, before we before we really get into it, uh, let's get some share screen going here and uh, window. What up? Look at this, man! I added some more shirt designs. Oh, you added the last row. This one, I'm curious to see how this is going to turn out. I, I ordered one. We'll see. I'll have a test print. But they're on sale for just a little bit longer, for eight oh, hours, great. and then finally I'll make some money off of them when I sell them. Um, <laughs> right now they seem to make all the money, and I just get hit with it. Uh, you know, first shirt design. You can of course choose whatever color you want here, which is really great. These shirts are actually really nice. I'm wearing the Predator one now, which I decided to get printed on white, um, but uh, it came out really good. So really happy with that. And then. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, let's see. I got one more. Yeah, because OG fan when Star Wars just Star Wars won it. The arena fan. We no chewing. Why not no chewing? Oh yeah, I'm not showing it. Shit. Oh yeah, and no chewing too. Yeah. So yeah, we get the arena fan. So. Ooh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Um, we should be able to zoom in more. Yeah, a little birdie told you they wanted the alien. Yeah, I'll get the yeah. alien when I get to it. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> want to make sure the widescreen format works in the shirt. And since since OG fan asked for this specifically, I was like, you know what? We'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. All right. All right. But he is a channel is member, good. you know, so I thought I'd hook up the channel <laughs> member with, with, with his request. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's what we got there. And then, of course, you know, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me see here. No chewing in the house. What's up, no chewy? How you doing? Um, yeah, good times. Good times. Let's get to this, though. Let's get to this. Yep. Yeah, we got like 53 to go through down at this point. <laughs> yeah, right. we do. We're going to need to All right. start firing All right. these up. This should be the first one, I believe, because the one before this yes. was a real. So, uh, Emerald Knight photos. We got the mask, the red death. Which I haven't shot this guy yet. Um, I haven't shot any Mythic Legions yet, except for Tibis. How dare you? Tibius, not Tibbet. Whatever. Yeah, Moz. <laughs> get, get the names right, Moz. <laughs> Hell, man. <laughs> Tibbet. Like, no wonder you haven't shot him. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Tibbis. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> might as well, might as well call fine, him Boba Fett. Him at all, then. I might as well call him Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Now, this is a dope right. shot. Awesome shot. This everyone. is clean, man. I like this. Yeah. Are there some uh, BTS or are there multiple? I think this is a collab thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's the collab for the yeah the myth and fantasy. Cool. So we got that going on. Um, I like the use of the red here because he's got the red light going on it, but he's right. breaking it up with a little warmth here. Mm-hmm. Uh, not necessarily a white, but he's breaking it up with the warm light, which is causing an interesting cast throughout the whole shot. And I actually don't dislike it. I, I like it a lot. No, I, I like yeah, the lighting a lot. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he's got that subtleness of like a cool light in the back hitting that mm-hmm. back wall. So it, it's kind of separating him from it. So it's kind of breaking it up. Yeah. But he is cutting yeah, that he's... red that he's using here in the front because he's got some red hitting him in the front. Yep. Uh, at least from over here, I think. Yeah, it seems like he has an overhead light that's like just white. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was uh-huh. like yellowish. The one down yeah. here, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I want this a little tighter, but I, I mean, I like the shot. Or maybe had the arms a little wider, as if he was letting him go. Because I think that's what's happening, right? He's just like he's. I think he's letting him go. Yeah, right. He's dropping to the ground. That's what it's cool. So, yeah. uh, it's good. I mean, that comes across. So, well done. Um, yeah, I don't think you need everything in this. Maybe to the right, 
cropping it off a little bit, but yeah. uh, I'm not gonna do it. Show but. us how it's done, Trevor. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> he was going to, and then he's like, "We got 50 photos to go through." Right. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, I might have to jump off in an hour. So. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good I, shot, though. I, I like the shot. I, I, I think uh, the only thing that I that I would say, and it's just an artistic choice. I might have stopped down a little bit more to get the to get the uh, skeleton a little bit mm -hmm. sharp, just a little bit sharper, sharper just mm -hmm. a bit, because right there at at that f stop, he looks almost like he was put in in post <laughs> a little bit. Um, yeah, you know mm -hmm. it, it, that that's all because the background. Is is so much sharper than the the skeleton, which is probably closer to the mask of the Red Death than the than this mask of the Red Death is from the from the wall mm. in the back. So it just gives it a, a weird perspective for me. But but I just would have stopped down a little bit more. Yeah, That's it's all. it's interesting that the wider the shot. Like I think again, if he had all right, I'm gonna try it. But like if he <laughs> tightened this up um, to a tighter yeah. shot, you have no willpower. I, uh, <laughs> I like to prom, <laughs> but it does look uh, really good. It, even my I, own. I, I like. You, you, you need to get a shirt that says the Cropinator. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <That's> right. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Green. Yeah, Commander um, Green. What's going on, buddy? And of course, Caleb collects yeah. in the house too, man. Hi, there's Emerald Knight right there, man. Get to work, Trevor. <laughs> hey, say, John, yeah, like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm said, not picking here. Like, I'm just like. I'm thinking like what? Well, it, it, no, but got me thinking is like exactly what Mike is saying is like if it was tighter, and I think maybe if the skeleton was a little more towards the camera, like a little turned a little bit more, um, mm. then I think the it's not working. I think the angle, or I mean, I think the depth almost works. Yeah, that's true. Um, work, yeah. You yeah. know, when it's tighter like this, but when you've got this wide shot. You're right. Like it looks like everything in the front should be sharper and then the mm -hmm. background should be out of focus. But yeah, I, I when think you, you prop need it to up like you can be focusing on the one character and have the other one a little more out of focus. You're losing the hand here, I guess, a little bit. So that kind of loses. Well, I think you need to feel blur that background a little bit because those, 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 I mean, those contrasty darks and, and lights there make it look like it's got more detail, like it's not quite like, yeah focused right and, and so it messes with the focus on the skeleton because yeah. he's got smaller details easier to, to to really start missing those but and he doesn't have to be looking at him but i'm almost i'm almost wanting him to look yeah at him i wish he was and in i just done this to him well, it, it could be because he's just too good to be looking at him it's yeah, he's in a hurry. He's on to the he's next like, one. I get it. Yeah, he's on to the next one. Right, okay, right. He's next. Step right up. Like, come, child. Come. Who am uh, I going to suck the list. life out of? Yeah, I don't know if this is it, but like, you know, maybe it's him above him or something. It's hard because you got that hand there. So it's, mm. you can't really, you don't want to lose the hand and you don't want to lose. Yeah, because that hand's an important this. part for sure. And then it's just centered and that's kind of dull. So we don't want to piss I don't off. Know. Me. Might just be a, a positioning thing, but it, it's fine as it is. I mean, I, I like the shot. I just think it's a little yeah, it looks light. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the lighting. I love the lighting mm -hmm. and the subtle touch yeah. of the atmosphere. He's got a yeah. little bit of fog in there, which kind of helps bounce the light around. So, yep. yeah, oh, yeah, red on a red figure uh, mm -hmm. is difficult, and people have been doing really well with this mm -hmm. uh, in general. Yep. So. Good job. Yeah. Props to Trevor for working both days of ToyCon and on his third day in a row of streaming. <laughs> that's and, true, but he's already come up bailing on us, man. He's already come up. Hey, man, he's well, gotta go I, to work. I, it's an hour. You know. Yeah, he's giving us an hour. <laughs> All right, new buttons here. This is kind of weird. Up and down buttons. All right. So articulated times. Mm. Um, this dude's just walking away. Is he grabbing by the foot there? You know, no, he's he's dragging him. He's dragging him. Yeah. I like the use of the the mask blood there. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a bit bright yeah. though. Like he really turned up the brightness on the red on that Weird. well maybe he's, he's i think got... it's just the light hitting it like i don't know if he turned it up or if it's just <clears throat> yeah i would have tried to i think the light coming from the top left whatever off off camera there it's hitting the night on the top i think yeah. that was off and that was yeah, this top really light dark here. from where he was dragging him from yeah and the only light was maybe coming from the window and in front of 
uh, Vorgus, yeah. then I, I think that might work a little yeah, better. This guy gives a cartoony feel <clears throat> with this red. Like a... Yeah. It's a bright piece. It's not like a... Well, I don't know. It's it's not that bright. It looks like blood. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it looks like blood. But mm -hmm. I mean, this yeah. is a great angle, and I like the lighting mm -hmm. on the figures, but that blood is really detracting and making me feel like this is more yeah. of a creative take on something than... <clears throat> And you could easily select that and uh, take down the, uh, you know, take down the brightness, take down the brightness too, a bit, saturation yeah. and stuff. If you're doing photos, <clears throat> great <throat> angle though. Yeah, Love yeah, the angle. Really angle. Yep. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's too tight. All oh, right. Anybody mm -hmm. else feel like it's a little, a little bit too tight? No. I feel like you mm -hmm. could punch out a little bit. Cutting off the hand in the bottom there a little bit. Uh, the hand, the I don't mind. The foot. horn, maybe. Uh, if you would have had the horn the cut foot, off. Why is it cut off weapon? on your... Well, no, no, wait a minute. Something's wrong, Moss, because like, really? that's not the whole shot. Yeah, it is what I'm looking at. It's cut off here at the hand. Hit that little thing up Oh, yeah, dude, there. your shot is cropped. Yeah, hit what? that little, little thing up in the corner top. Yeah. That. Oh, well, that's interesting. There we oh, go. wow. Oh, no. It's, it's still cropped. Still not... yeah. What the hell's going on? I don't know. That's way cropped. I've never yeah, seen it's not before. it's not like that at all. <laughs> yeah, because you threw out the ward on too. Yeah, no. What? His hand, his foot, and the horn are missing. If I were you, close the window and just reopen Instagram. Here, share my page for a minute. I'll show you. Like this is what I'm seeing. Yeah, look at the difference. That's, yeah, that. Oh, yeah, this, this is way better. Yeah, what the heck? Weird. Yeah, huge. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. I see it now. That is really weird. Yeah, this is like way better. The other one that I showed wasn't cropped weird, was it? You sharing oh. a portion of the No, I'm sharing the whole damn thing. thing. No, the last one looked this good. One looked I think. Okay, yeah. It's really That's weird. weird. That's weird. I see the You're using Chrome, there. right? Yeah, yeah I'm Chrome. using Chrome. Hey, I you, a, what do you I have? Do you have a Mac or a PC? Here. I'm on a PC. Are you like manually zooming in or something like that? No, I didn't know I could zoom in. Hit control, oh. hit control zero. Maybe you might be zoomed in. All right, I'll stop my screen. Yeah. No, no, I don't know. That's weird. Just this one though. The other one didn't do it. See, there it is. Odd. Yeah, it's cropped again. Yeah, I, I don't know why you have those buttons there. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that's also like what the heck. That's really weird. Go to the. Go to the next one after that one. Uh, yeah, that, that looks right. Huh. Yeah, that one's right. It's just that one image. Is Maybe it's just the way he saved it. And really Mike strange. was not able to do it right. I don't Maybe know. The aspect ratio is Weird. funny. And the well, can anyway. Adjust I mean, do you want to look at You want me to share it again? Or look at it that no, way? I think, I mean, was there anything else to say about it? Uh, well, I mean, we didn't say much. but the I mean, problem that I had, but then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, not, I, I think it's really good. Yeah. 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 Um the yeah. scene is is uh I think it's is well constructed. It looks like a crash box set there. I was about uh, to say it does look like a crash box. Yeah. <clears throat> well, top down is great, man. It's a great story. I I love it. It's really, really cool. Oh yeah. All right. Just that blood. Yeah, the blood. The blood almost I would have like uh had <clears throat> it like completely under his shoulders like had none of that like around the waist because yeah i was about to say i think then it would have looked like it was smearing along the you know like all along the ground or something yeah yeah it's a good use of that thing i think i think if you really wanted a more realistic and you wanted to take some time you could you can mix up some fake some blood and it's not going to hurt your dio <laughs> like it, it it shouldn't i don't think i don't know how absorbent that floor is but it shouldn't really hurt anything but it's a cool use of it i like it i like the i like the use yeah. of it Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on uh, to Eddie and his toys. In this one, my computer did not crop, so yay. <laughs> um, Emerald though likes the angle of that last shot. Um, Borgus got to eat. <laughs> it's true. And go figure, go. What the? <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, um, again, I'm kind of. This is the Hobbits, and he's supposed to be uh, Aragorn or something. That doesn't look like Aragorn. I, I he's said probably, he's, he's, he's probably just another one. ranger. He, he doesn't have could to be, be Aragorn. Aragorn. Another one of those. Yeah. He could be whatever he wants, man. Not the movie Aragorn. <laughs> but like, he could be Van Damme if he wants it. to. <laughs> Van I, it's, it's an awesome setup. That whatever that dio is, that little 
if it's a Travert or it's, it's a house, whatever stable, it's it's great. The angle is fantastic too. Like there's a lot of little details in this shot, and I like it. I feel like yeah. I might cut down on the on the front light, the front white light, a little bit. It's a little bright on the wood, right on the tree trunk. Yeah, the, little... that piece of wood right there is the first thing that I'm looking at, and then that shine on his armor. I the shine like... on the armor, I don't mind, but don't the, mind too much? Stuff okay. on the 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 stuff on the tree or on the little stumps, right. I that that's a little distracting. But the the armor is not too too distracting because mm -hmm. I mean it's armor, and you would expect if the light hits it, it's going to shine. So that kind of yeah. makes sense. But, but I'm just kind of wondering you know, where that white light is coming from. What, he what picked the right, like, the yeah, I guess it's white because his, his, his armor is, has a blue tint. I was going to say, I thought it was like a blue. But, like, you <clears> could <throat> do a white card over there, and, like, you can even take, like, a, mm -hmm. you know, a, um, a Jesus, uh, <clears throat> a gel and, like, uh, like tack, you know, tack it or uh, clip it to the white card, too. If you want, like, a little bit of a tint to the color of the mm -hmm. bounce light, you know what I mean? So if you want a little more blue. Or green because it's the forest or whatever like you could do that too mm -hmm. i think it's just too hot like that you're you're showing a sunset there really shouldn't be any other kind of light unless it's like firelight or something like that um it's hard to it's hard to justify that light i know mm -hmm. you guys are saying um mm -hmm. i mean if it was more painterly too like and had like some wild colors mm -hmm. or something like that and it was more extreme than maybe yeah. but it looks like he's going for realism here and it just that doesn't white gel but it's a it's a nice setup yeah it's a gorgeous I think setup. the light should bounce off something here in the, in the setup because i don't see a bounce card set up here unless he took it down no because he's still got the white hitting it no he's got a light there for There's sure definitely no, a light, light over there hitting him oh we're not seeing it in the bts right here yeah yeah yeah, but yeah. <laughs> you can't see it it, it may just be room light maybe he's not shooting with the complete because the, the light is here it's hitting the armor right here the one you're talking about but there's no light here well it's hitting the that piece of Brick wall or whatever. Brick wall there too. Yeah, you can yeah. definitely see the light. See it on the tree stump right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tree stump. That's the only thing that that I think is just too bright. The white light on that tree stump is just too. It's too intense. It's a little. And the comment does say he's one of them rangers. Dangerous folk they are. <laughs> mm. yeah, he is a ranger. See. <laughs> so who's saying that to you here? <laughs> well, that's Samwise that says that line. So. Uh. There's Samwise. Is he saying it to? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at it. it doesn't matter at all. Why it's his you? story, man. It's his, <laughs> yeah. it's his interpretation of it. <laughs> but it's a good shot, though. But that, yeah, that's the only thing. It's just yeah. the, the light on the tree stump is what's a little. It's kind of fighting that sunlight yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Other than that, it's, it's good shot. Good shot, Eddie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, fantastic shot. All right. We'll move on then. Thank you, Eddie. All right, we, why is this? So Whoa, why is this? That's a, it's, it's, a, it's another, you're video. Not, it's another, you're video. not going to crop that one, Trevor. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no room to crop. Gonna skip it. All right, well, yeah, it, we're it, it's a real, it's a real. Oh, oh gotcha. Okay, okay. yeah, wow. real. So, Indian figs, we it's got real small. Uh, is that, I don't know what's going on. Is that the with the soldiers? Have one hand, she have one, one arm. His arm is too far back, right. Yeah, it's a winter yeah, soldier's oh, head, winter soldier head okay. for sure. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Okay. Is but he in front or, or in the back? He's off like, behind him. Look at the sword, though. Yeah, that's the sword. Oh, his arm yeah, is too far his, back. His, his, yeah, his okay, arm is too far back. It. Yeah, because you Bucky's, can see it. Bucky's head sculpt thing, whatever this is, is holding the sword. Is there like an optical illusion? Yeah, I like that. My brain is not. No, he doesn't guy Focal distance on the camera, so the, this guy's way too blurred out. I mean, no, I like the second uh, shot. Just the the field there. isn't there. It's just too it, shot. it. It just looked to me. It looks like his feet is in the front, but he's in the back. Yeah, it's because yeah. because this it's, arm is going no, he, behind him, and so you're expecting this. No, arm here. wait, no. I'm just uh, my brain he's is right. not processing this. <laughs> the, the Winter Soldier is in front. Yeah, I just said that. Why is but on like the it? top, it looks like he's in the back. But where is, is it? Did he remove the arm because he doesn't? The have arm is it. behind him. Oh, 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 wait, 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 no, I see it now. I see it now. You see the hilt of the sword. You just start seeing blades. So, oh man, that blends into the other arm. Yeah, of the other right, right, right. Yeah, right. Like, it, it makes it look like this is the hand reaching out in front. Right, 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 right. It's not. Yeah. 
So okay. yes. yeah, I'll you really move down. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it, man. It's a weird illusion. Like it's like, it's, I know. like this is, uh, I mean, that's, in the brain I wouldn't have hidden that, that because that. like it's too much with my brain. Like it keeps <laughs> yeah. flipping back. It's like one of those. Uh, like those, I think I need things. another drink. <laughs> like where you gotta cross your eyes and like get it. It's like keeps flipping back and forth. It's no like, chewing. Yeah, 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 no, I think the drug is blue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 not making fun no i mean it uh, yeah it does it's it is it it's is moral, jarring eh? in the shot like you want things to cross the other figure especially if it's in the background you know what i mean like That's your foreground favorite. figure gives you a little more uh depth and plus i i don't i can't see who's holding that sword you know it's like weird. yeah yeah what can you hold the sword and I really yeah, yeah. thought that other figure was in front and he was shooting yeah, behind it. And I was, was like, oh, that's kind of an interesting, you know, take on it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his depth of field is too shallow is the problem. It's just... And the positioning, Bucky, yeah. Or whatever this character is, I mean, this leg is already out of focus. This leg is more in focus. So, you know, just across the body, we're losing, you know, sharp image across the front body, much less going back to this one back here. So... Yeah, it's very narrow, it right? Weird. Yeah. And he's focused on the back eye. You should probably have it on the front yeah. eye. Yep. It yeah. seems anyway. Yeah, so it looks like he's, what's in line he's standing in the back. back. Yeah, crazy. that's what. If that's I what... block the first half, it looks like he's in the back. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I see where you guys are yeah. going. With. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is weird. Yeah, it's a very interesting yeah. play on that. They're both on the same like plane too, because it's so low, and it's it's, it's just, <laughs> just weird. Like, yeah, I think he needed to bring him a little bit for more forward. Bucky, yeah. Knight. Lighting yeah. wise, Bucky is a little too dark. I mean, yeah, he's got light on him where you see reflections and stuff, but. This is just dark on top of dark. You needed something to bring some contrast. Like a bounce, I think, would have done that. that. Break, you know, I like these. Got the second eye. It's almost Rembrandt lighting, but you needed a little. Mm -hmm. You needed to bring that around so, just, yeah, just a yeah, little yeah. bit more, and that would have given you more light on the chest. I yeah. think. I think too, and a little spillage over on the side. So that would probably would have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Just a bounce. All right. Anything else for eighty-eight figs, guys? Nope. Uh, All right, so moving on. We just mess with our heads. Yeah, Gabriel, Gabriel. we got some quicksand, oh, and we keep like rubbing this. these figures in my face. So. Hell yeah, yeah, man! I'm glad he did the shot. I had I told him that he needed to do the the three guys on the quicksand. <laughs> Why would Actually, you? I think this is this is the last. Yeah, shot. I know. Like, what, like you, yeah, you got to do that. Like, what, what, what? What's, what's well, it's because he. Man? So he started. So the first shot that he did from the haunted house was the. He did vapor on the tightrope with the alligator on the bottom. Yeah, I remember that one. I remember and that then one. he did he did the other one with Gomez with the he was on top of the dynamite box, and then he's like, "You need to do the third one with the three pink skulls, like so that way you get all three paintings done." Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, you, I didn't, you know what I didn't I'm realize. About? Yeah, from the haunted yeah. mm -hmm. mansion. Yeah, the haunted mansion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, I, didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get that. Okay. I love it when the plan comes together. <laughs> All right. All right. This is yeah. yeah, this is done really well though. I think mm -hmm. it worked out perfectly. I think the sand though looks more like snow. A little. Yeah. It's a very, but... very pale sand. I don't know if it's supposed to be or well, it's not not much texture, sand like grit to it. It's more smooth than, than yeah. sand. What is that? I wonder that's what you're used. It looks like fake it snow. Works. It looks like it snow. Works. Okay. As like a comedy shot. I think um, yes. I think I would have had that quick quicksand like almost in the front of the picture, like breaking off the bottom. You know what I mean? Like in mm. front of us, like or the guy on top holding the sign or something. Somebody holding it or something. Well, I mean, if it's like supposed to warn people, I think I would have had that in oh, front yeah. of them, like not yeah. right. And I want there. my quicksand you know I mean? to be like that quicksand there. mud stuff that you see in all those movies, where it's like mud. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, word for that is that's that that. Um, I was gonna call it stupid. It's not stupid, um, but that other that sand that um, kinetic, kinetic sand. Oh, kinetic sand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kinetic sand. That that well, looks like sand. Yeah. <laughs> or you make the quicksand like like the stuff from a uh, from a uh, Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for the kinetic, I think the kinetic sand would have worked perfectly for that. Yeah, for this yeah. because it does look like that. Because you could sand. actually stick them right through it. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like you had to, like make a little hole or something. But it's yeah, a cool his, idea, his, and I like cool. the lighting a lot, and it's a. You know, for a comedy, you know, joke shot, 
you know, I oh, guess it's beautiful lack of shot. a better term. Mm -hmm. I just it's nicely done. That sand color is messing my brain. Mm. Much like right. that one dude in the last picture, like everybody thought he was in front. Yeah. <laughs> my brain is twitching over this sand color. <clears throat> All right, Gabriel, man, there's really nothing much to say about it. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, maybe if the little bottom little. guy was also like down a little further and like had his hands on the ground, like as if he was like really. What's going on, him. Big Troy's? What's up, Big Troy's? Collectibles. Big T Roy. All right. Go we'll move on, Gabriel. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Steven, me. man. Look at this. He's making some cookies for Christmas time. Is that cookies? Time. Those are cookies. He's making some cookies, but why is the oven in like whatever? This doesn't look like a kitchen. It is a kitchen, man. It's an apartment. It looks like kitchen. a kitchen. Yeah, it looks like an apartment, apartment kitchen. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like my kitchen. Struggling <laughs> father, okay. And this this grub know, is like he's, he's a single father. Yeah. He's raising a grub. <laughs> this grub is like in here right now. Right. Like he <laughs> he's like, Dad, how come this place looks like shit? Just trying to make a it's nice a cool, Christmas for my kid. You failed me, Dad. No wonder Mom you left. A little bit more bounce. It's a Long off. Island kitchen, according to Cloud. Okay, Cloud says this is a Long Island kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's a little. It's not '80s enough for a Long Island kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he just needed a little bounce, a little bounce light. I think he's right. got a roach that. problem. That's what I'm saying. Just a little bit on the left side, and I was going to say it, that. Yeah. And it's not. And it's not. It's it's a minor little thing, but I wish the foot would have been completely down. Mm. Yeah, yeah. With it twisted like that, he just his mm. other foot is broken for sure. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think all he like all it really needs is just a bounce of camera left, just to bring. Well, he's telling the kid life. to call the ambulance. He's just burned his hand and broken his foot. His <laughs> <laughs> so Jim, no more kitchen for him. Is Mezit, a perfect Christmas recipe. <laughs> No. Mez recipe. It's a good uh, shot, though. Uh, yeah. Casper says they're going to burn that poster on the wall. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> place to put a poster. That is not staying on the wall. It's like coming off the wall. Yeah, you can tell he's a single dad. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what the hell I he's doing. I just packed it on there. That poster would not oh. be there. <laughs> right, he'd have like, 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 in real life, that'd be like a James Bond thing or something like that in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. huh? so, so cool. <laughs> but no, seriously though, in the lighting, uh, it is it is missing the bounce over here because I mean, yeah, just, yeah, from camera left, that's all it needs is just yeah. a bounce from the just that's to bring in a little bit more light. Time, I think, light up a little bit. And I would have wanted Gomez looking at the grub. I don't know what he's looking at. He could be one of his other eyes. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can see in multiple directions. Yeah. Yeah. He's got bug eyes, man. Yeah, but guys. Hey, Janine, well, I think would have been really guys. cool, and I think would have been like I would have liked to have seen, like he takes the cookies out of the oven. You don't even have to film. You could have him like bending down and like showing the little grub. He and puts the lotion. Like in the if you bother to make the cookies, they could be shaped like the little roaches or whatever. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. Oh, Steve, there he is. Uh, I didn't want the walls too. Your bed with I antenna or something. You know what I mean? No, no, no. Yeah, that's okay. Like. Uh, I don't know what you're There's shooting it there. against. Like, is it just a couple of pieces of like cardstock <laughs> or something? Uh, I mean, yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with the poster. It's just you get the sense that he's a single dad because if he yeah. can, if he had a wife, that poster would not be there. You <laughs> 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 would not hear the end of it. Yeah, yeah so that, I'm gonna burn. Like what the hell are you doing? <laughs> so I like yeah, it. I like the board. Board. <laughs> it. Okay. 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 There are, um, and I know Michaels has them, but like you could, I'm trying to think of like, even just like, like tile, like they have these little pieces of paper that I think for like, oh yeah, for scrapbooking, the scrapbooks. Yeah. And they're yeah. like squares, they're like 12 by 12 squares and you can get them. And some of them look like tile. Mm -hmm. Some of them and look brick. like marble brick. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it'll work perfectly. Get those and glue them up to a to a and some board. Even, man, and it's a even look cheap, like that like vintage wallpaper and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say yeah. I don't know if they have that, but that would be perfect. Yeah, they they um, do. You just have to look for the right size because uh, some of them, like you can tell, like it's a little oversized the print, like the pattern. Yeah, it's not gonna definitely the match one twelve scale. Match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. just have to look, but they do have it. They they, they mm -hmm. do have it because I I have a few actually. Yep. Rock on. Actually. Uh, Steve mess DM me and I have uh I have some 
printable dioramas that have that vintage wallpaper and i'll send them to you from that instaprint um i used it on my last shot with vapor the the diorama is printed on that shot hmm. so i'll send you those if you need them yeah. All right. Also, like oh, in interaction between characters and stuff, like you said, Pablo. I think you were saying that that yeah, having Mavis Mavis Mavis, that the head like looking more at him, mm -hmm. and even the hand like it used the hand expressions to be like, "Hey, you want a cookie?" You know what I mean? Like his hand is out like this, like towards Grub, and Grub isn't like up against the wall. He's mm -hmm. more like curious. Like I think his head can tilt, right? Like they can think, tilt their heads like a little. I more think Grub's against yeah. the wall because he has a problem standing up. <laughs> No, they don't they yeah, stand up. You get, well. you, Mine never want to stand, dude. I'm telling you. Just you, have to, you have to. You have to find that. <laughs> they'll stand up. They'll stand up on their own. Or maybe yeah. he's just afraid because he burnt the cookies and dad always hits him when he burnt <laughs> the cookies. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, sounds good. I guess I'm getting bad. Never didn't crop my shot. <laughs> Damn it, I tried. All right, I tried. <laughs> I, uh, I do appreciate him me. Uh, lighting up the inside of the oven. Yeah. Uh, I like yes. That. I don't yes. know how nice. exactly he did that, but good job. Hole in the in the uh, car. Oh, oh, right. That's true. Really? I don't think so. Just pink construction paper, maybe. Really? Oh, okay. Let us know. Well, there's a light uh, in there of some sort. It, yeah, it's lit up in there. It looks yeah. like there is a light source in there. All right, maybe. Well, it's probably coming off the tinfoil and bouncing around. Set uh, looks great, though. Set nicely done. <coughs> oh, Mike, what are you doing? You got something for us? Well, those scrapbook papers from Michael's, you're there talking you about. They've, you got, go. yep. hey, they've you go. got kinds Perfect. like woven, yep. you know, and these are, I mean, 69 well, see that, that, cents that, um, a piece. Yeah. Yep. Some of those you would know. be perfect, like for that's the Long Island kitchen, the mm -hmm. 80s wallpaper. And yeah, you've got yeah, stuff like yeah, there you and go. And they're like yep, 69 to it to a dollar ninety nine a piece, you know. And you yep. can just you can layer them and tear through down to another one to create uh peeling effect. Also, yeah, uh, underlying so you can layer them, wallpaper, yeah. right? Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Hey, hey, 69. Come on, Lol. Okay. Come on, man. all right. Moving on. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Let's go back to here. Thank you, Steve. Oh, oh wow. Robin again. Pablo, do you feel that? Do you? Huh? Yeah, did you? Oh, did you read my comment? <laughs> oh, hold on. No, I didn't. <laughs> my comment's in there. <laughs> I just got here. I didn't get a chance to read it. Hold on. Oh, I thought that's why you were saying that, because that's exactly what I told him in there. <laughs> Because the funny thing is, is that we were on the show talking about it, and then this got posted. And I was like, <laughs> I was like oh, "Thanks, Would you comment That's about rubbing it in that he has the lone roach?" Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, this is a flex, man. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a big flex. Your comment, dude. Yeah, it's in there. That, that's why I thought you was, you said that because I thought you read the comment because I, I told him I was like, "Thanks for rubbing it in," but awesome shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you've now said what the comment was, so I don't need to find it. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to find it. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see what we got here. Ooh, oh, and grub. Oh, don't forget the grub. Don't forget a little grub. A grub with a grub. Without a grub? Oh, yeah. With a grub. Eh, without, without. Fine. Well, yeah, we're going to we're gonna go without. look at it. Because the grub is obviously there to placate. I love, I love the light. And that's 78 points dial also. Mm -hmm. yeah, the lighting is Still haven't opened that. Perfect. Thing. Yeah, the lighting is fantastic, man. I like that he's wearing chucks, man, even though he's got the same ring. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Gomez has to wear his stomach, man. Yeah. You don't want to see my roach feet. Figure oh. now, and I want to get it before Pablo does, just just to rub it in some more. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> you want me to continue making the thumbnails? <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> damn! I've been looking out for you for a Nosferatu. Like, that's hey, true. That's true. I'm just messing. This I'm just, one, and you're like, nah, nah, nah. I'm just counting. <laughs> well, every time you hit me up about it, I, I just can't do it at the time. <laughs> And you choose not to. You choose to. I'll, I'll take a Nosferatu if you've got one. If you've I don't got have one, one. I just original one. sale, and I'm like, hey, I thought you had one. I'd Mike. like to. Oh, I, I have, have the. I have the new one, not the not oh, the original, the one. older one. I, I like the other one. I like the skin tones on the uh, the. the on first one. One. I, I think I sold one a while back. I don't think I have. Oh, you did. I just, yeah. I just sold the new one at. Uh, oh really? At the uh, Toy Con. Yeah. Uh, Symphony of. Yeah, or something. Yeah, I have that one. I don't. I want the other one. Um. Yeah, this is beautiful. Lighting's beautiful. You guys, you guys watching Blue Eye Samurai? Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm like super 
getting super inspired. I can't wait to like. Dude, I, 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 Pablo and I were talking in the chat, man. We we're like, we want a Mizu figure. Yeah. We well, Mizu I had told Paul ah, that I want... I commissioned Ripple Tank Customs already for the outfit. Oh shit. Yeah. I was just thinking about this today because, like, what the hell is I watching? Or I don't know what it was. It's something, and I'm like, oh, I know what it was. Sideshow was doing a review of like the uh, Iron Maiden Eddie statue, the, the, oh, the trooper, uh -huh. which is cool. Uh, it's really mm -hmm. cool, Mike. I know you don't like Iron Maiden, but it's really good. No, I like Eddie uh, though. Eddie's cool. Eddie's okay. Cool. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And I'm like, you know, getting in that mode of like, oh, should I get that? I'm like, I can't have. <laughs> Do I need a representation of everything that I like? You know what I mean? Like, no. Yes. Like, no. You know, like, no, but, I love but, but Blue Eyes. I just watch Blue Eyes Samurai and just like the show and not, like, have a toy to show everybody no, that I, I, I like the show. <laughs> I, I, I need a toy. I know. I, I know. It's, it's the instinct, but I, you, I've got to get over it, man. Uh, I'm on the works of making a custom. I'm pretty sure it'll come out eventually. I'm hoping someone... A good company picks it up because I want that, Limb Toys to make it. I think Limb Toys would do a good job on it. But, Jada, Jada, oh, oh, Jada, yeah, yeah Jada. Jada would be great. Yeah, Limb but Toys yeah, would I, take four years to make it though, and they'll be like blue eye. What? But I'm in the process with Rebel <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I remember that show. Yeah. <clears throat> but beautiful shot, Anthony man, uh, awesome. Dude, looks great, buddy. Killing good looking yeah. shot. Mad that I didn't order this diorama so and or have not. Got this man, because this this is just beautiful. I... Wait till this next one. Oh boy, holy moly! Man, this this will haunt your dreams. This. I love this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Toy Marth, man, it's just beautiful. I don't. Does anybody have anything else to point out on this? It's nope. Perfect. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing. It's perfect, man. Moving yeah, on, man. Moving on. Ah! <laughs> this is what you're about. <laughs> this is freaky, yeah. Man. A little Aaron Yeager. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's got like a declaration of war. Oh part two. I know, right? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, because chisels have chisels. It's uh, got uh, like remember, that, remember, that little, remember that little kid that was like a weight bodybuilder? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, young Hercules yeah. or whatever they call it. Yeah, young Hercules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it's it's was, that was I'm, creepy too. This I'm happy with my keg. So I'm glad with the K. Go to my one pack. <laughs> the, one, the, yeah. the, the one pack. <laughs> I've got more like a, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Never mind. A keg. Never mind. A keg, Mike. No. Can't even describe it. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, potatoes. That is fantastic. Sack of potato. <laughs> I want to feather out that glow on the eyes a little bit more. Like feather yeah, it out Yeah, that's more. the only thing that's taking me out of it. I think if that yeah. was a little more... I Some think it just dude, needs to be I think it would more. look really cool. Yeah. I think the blending mode would have fixed it actually. That, that and the blend if, like play with the blend if a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because it's too, yeah. too I mean it, it doesn't have a sharp line around it, but it's too too strong. It looks very post Photoshop. Yeah. And the yeah. rest of it looks very uh in in yeah. camera. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like looks really yeah. good. And yeah, the figure is lit beautifully. I don't I don't know yeah. how yeah, it, yeah, it, it, I might have toned down his might have toned down his ear a little bit, his right ear, camera left, but no, because when, when you think about the thinner skin on a on a person, when light travels, it actually goes through it, like 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 an well, ear it actually have a little, little red pink. tick to it, actually. Yeah, yeah but wow, it's still we, got, we got um actually like twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's yeah, not that's going good, through it, that's bouncing off of it though. That's bouncing off of it, yeah. yeah. Right? It, I see what Mike is saying. Well, it's plastic, it's... so it's gonna bounce, but I mean no, my... it, I can let it go as to thinking it's going through. Wait, it. this isn't real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just really wanna you really, don't you? <laughs> I I get I get the story in there. The rocks are flying out and stuff too, though. I see those things and the action that's in there. And mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those yep. are rocks. But mm -hmm. but no, you know, the composition is great, the lighting's great. Yeah. But yeah, the, yep. I would, it's just the eyes just need to be toned down a bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. The glow I mean, actually, I would still want the, the eyes could be like yeah. that, but the glow could be a yeah. little more subdued. Yeah, feathered out. If that was like real more, light, it would fall off a lot more gradually. It just mm -hmm. wouldn't be like bing, yeah. you know, yeah. and then, then like fall off. <laughs> yeah. And it wouldn't it wouldn't be over the top of that one hair that's in front of his eye either. Cloud. Wow. Looks yeah. like my name is yeah. Kid. <laughs> well, the hair wow. is translucent, Trevor. Uh, in real life, the, the, that's the true. They're going through the hair, uh, actually, the hair because it does have some reflective actually, qualities. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <actually>. Love that. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Don't we? <laughs> it's fun. Good shot. Um, good shot. As long as you cool don't shot do that. Though, man. Really cool. Long <laughs> what? Oh, no. Man, I'm getting more and more disturbed as we go on here. I think. Yeah. <laughs> good job, brother. That fella always makes these things look really cool, man. He always does yeah. a good job. Yeah. That's always one of those kids. <laughs> always making noise when I'm watching some telly. <laughs> All right. Move on then. Well, if you look, like no, no, yeah, yeah. Date, it's a good so. shot, but yeah, it just just the the glow needs to be. Oh wow! Like, okay, oh, like what's going what on here? the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what is going on? I remember this setup. Interesting. That, right. Those Lego panels and stuff. I remember that he did some other shots. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that creepy looking one? Yeah, the. Yeah. Oh, Jason, right? It was in it, Jason. It was some sort of monster standing up against the oh, back, yeah. and it was remember yeah. and yeah, yeah, yeah. He I did remember what cell. it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really first. cool. Yeah, this one's not working right? those as well as the previous ones because I think I feel like it's overlit and the the focal range is too too long. You can actually read yeah. Lego on there too. There's, oh, there's yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> there's no everything is in focus it needs there, there's no depth to there's it there's no it's, depth to it yeah it needs yeah. some depth yeah yeah so that's where yeah. this is kind of falling i mean and uh i would just say what the hell is going on here yeah. what is this <laughs> seriously sort of resurrection the gator <laughs> he's casting a spell on the gator no, with the... like a dead mummy and a couple of tubes and <laughs> Well, like, there's a lot going on here. I'm not sure. It's just a direct direction. That's all it says in the, the yeah, cap. I'm afraid. Typical day in my life. Just... <laughs> and it says Peter one on the. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say yeah, this is Spider Verse related. Apparently. apparently. What it like? I don't get it. Wait, it's Spider Man related? You said? Yeah, it says hashtag Spider Verse. Spider Verse. Oh, what the heck? So I'm like, what? What Spider Man? Am I missing? Am I missing? I mean, the alligator. I was thinking. I think a Loki. Loki thing. Yeah. Cloud no says he's going to make the gator a real boy. <laughs> real boy. Not, not in the deliverance voice. Who said that? That's <laughs> ba -da ding, 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 ding. <laughs> going to make that gator a real boy. Real boy. Real boy. Got a pretty mouth. <laughs> wow. Just, um, <laughs> never no, mind. But yeah, the, it, it needs depth because everything is just too. Because that, that weird <laughs> purple lighting panel. Where there's, it looks like a toolbox. It looks like it yeah. should be further back, but it's in focus or sharp. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, yeah. I, don't yeah. see the... I think there's too much light in the front too. Uh, like, I was I gonna say that. Lit, yes. It would have right. been cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it would have been interesting. We're able to see too much of the behind the scenes in the actual scene. Yeah, detail. Yeah, the way that it's true. Focal ranges. Yeah. 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 You're giving yeah, the yeah, game yeah. away a little bit here. You know what I mean with all this light. I think. The other ones, yeah. it was much more subtle and it worked out really well. You just got a lot going on. I mean, it's not like well, that light. It's in the interesting. Back, the it light in the back, the purple light needs to be out of the camera. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Inside, that should just, be coming just get the right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can definitely appreciate all the time that went into oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, yeah. like like I yeah. said, spread spread some of it out, create some depth between the figure and the background, and use your lighting to tell yeah. to add some depth to it also. Uh, you know. I appreciate it's the time. I fear the way. thinking that went into it, but uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's it's, a, it's <laughs> an interesting shot. I mean it it, it yeah. has us talking about it, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. But I, it just needs some depth. Like if you could get some depth, like the, I don't know what focal point, like what focal length you used. Yeah. But I would, I would move some of that stuff further mm. back, move some stuff forward, and then get that depth. So that way, because everything is just it's too focused, and like you, you can't really put your eye on one specific thing. Yeah, if yeah. you're trying to tell a story about resurrection here, I would have said like I think this is a case where you're enamored with <clears throat> the setup you made, and like it, it doesn't really. I mean, it helps <clears throat> if it's in the background, and it could still be in the background. You don't need to see all this. I don't need all this. You know what I mean? I need to get close up, maybe, maybe down below the alligator, and have him pouring a little of that stuff on, and maybe you know, there's an eye if you did it in post on the alligator opening up or something. I don't know. Like if that's your story. You know, get yeah. in there and tell the story. There's there's nothing going on out here that says anything about what's happening in this mm -hmm. scene. So, like, I don't need all that. You know what I mean? It should just be really tight. Yep. 
that pretty much sums it up. Thank yep. you so much, Krog the Critter, for uh, sharing that with us. Let me move on to in toy photos. We got more so of force perspective. This yep. Thing, this person with the thing. Uh, this looks good though. Uh, yeah, this works. Yeah. The buildings are working here. I like that much better with, with the, you know, unlike the last time I was talking about how how you know how big it was compared to them. This is working a bit better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good composition. Yeah, right. I was gonna say I like, I like the, the fence. chains in front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the <laughs> foreground element a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that thing in the back is. Maybe it's a. I don't know if they're up on top of a building and not really. I mean, you could have a garden up there, so that's cool with the tree and all that and the and the bushes yeah. that works. I'm not sure what that little. It kind of works to to fill in a gap. I'm just not sure what it is. It just doesn't look like anything. That little brown yeah, area on the right, oh, the one wall. Yeah. Yeah, right. Is a that wall of some yeah. sort. I don't know. At first, I thought it was like a building, and I'm like, no, it can't be far enough back for a building. But it's something. Know. Maybe define that a little bit more. I, it's oh, I see. Something. Okay, <laughs> it's it's something. Definitely something. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it is something, and it's intentional. It's, no, I don't is, know why I, there's a pallet on top of a building, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not yeah, sure that I mean, was necessary unless there was a gap there that he needed to cover up. Or yeah, something. I think it's supposed to be one of those like skylight things or something, you know, like just a hint of it or whatever. I yeah, mean, I unless they're not on a building, I mean, they could be, um, you know, like um, they could be like on a, on the road, but on the mountainside. <laughs> well, if they're on the road and these buildings aren't working, they're they're just. Well, that's what I'm saying. But like like on the side of a mountain, you know how there's like those little roads and villas and whatever. And then oh, like a hill. Yeah, well, like on a yeah. hill, there you go. That's what I'm like. They might be on a hillside on some kind yeah. of because the way the I mean, that brick looks, wall, though, kind of gives you the impression that it's like a distress. And there's bricks behind them, which I that's like. True. Yeah, it gives you the impression that they're on some sort of dilapidated yeah. rooftop or something. Uh, but somebody's really taking care of those plants very nicely. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's always taking some time. They have to water them. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> exactly. Well, they could be drought tolerant. Or it's just the rainy too. season. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Just, yeah. Drought tolerant succulents. Here's, you know what I like to see from M Toy. Like I like this. Every all the lighting is yeah, the lighting the same. Mm -hmm. It works. I mean, it looks like it, works. it looks like it looks like a midday shot. You know, or maybe. I don't know uh, the eleven o'clock side of things, you know what I mean, or the two o'clock side. Of I'd love to see like a sunset, some warm light on those buildings, and like maybe <clears> even <throat> keep those buildings a little more in shadow. You know what I mean? Like, I'd love to see that because I, I like these setups a lot. I think they're real. I think they're really good. Um, <laughs> His use of those little buildings are have always been great. Yeah, he's pretty good at mm -hmm. the force yeah. perspective. Force yeah. perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. He's been he's been killing it. It works. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. It'd be cool to see that through a window or something like a dial with a window. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like Ooh, where yeah, they're inside a building nice. and you see those buildings yeah. outside. That would be cool. That would be cool. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, M Toy Man, thanks so much for sharing yeah. that. We're gonna move on to the next shot today, and we yeah, have Toy Immersion, Ooh. and she's Damn. firing her arrow at what something. She that the Toy Immersion on the show, uh, Toy Photo Bomb, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Damn, that's a nice shot. Moose. I like the, the moodiness of it. I like the light yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. He's matched the light pretty well. Yep. Although the atmosphere almost looks like post. The bottom bit. atmosphere, the bottom, yeah. just a little bit like the one in the foreground. Mm -hmm. The rest of it looks like it's <clears throat> yeah, the little uh, the little highlight down at the bottom. I don't know what that is. That's bugging. I think me. it might be. Oh the yeah. Bottom. The light that he was using, I don't know if he has, he doesn't have the behind the scenes, does he? I think I would have, uh, you know, done a little, no, he doesn't, a little BS uh, Photoshop work there or something there. Yeah, because I like it's a little distracting right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that he uses, I mean, this is a shot like you look at the background, that is misty. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And yes, you can be mm -hmm. like, if, if you're up close, mist, obviously in the fog, like somebody in front of you isn't as covered with fog right. as they would be like five, 10 feet away from you. But there should be a little bit of fog around this, you know what I mean? In places like the back of the moose's antler or something, you know what I mean? Like, I think there just should be a little bit of fog. It'd be nice. It would be nice. I think it would make it even better. It's a really nice shot. And I think that's why the, the fog in the foreground looks like it's in post because there's no fog behind the antler. It does look a little yeah. like 
Photoshop post fog. Yeah. Yeah. And I think if he had mixed some of that post fog behind the antlers, like he could mask it behind the antlers, I think that would have mm -hmm. blended in well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that you're right. The, the fact that there's no fog behind the antlers, like it, <clears throat> kind of like it gives it that. I also think the highlights kind of don't really help to portray <laughs> the um, the mistiness of everything. Because I feel like light would be so diffused if it's that misty that you would not get any of that highlights like on the bow or even on her face. I feel. Yeah, it's coming a little hot from that side. I mean, it's hard to tell like like well light can bounce around the, actually i mean that's what i was think, kind of thinking like your point mm -hmm. like because the light is kind of looks like it's coming from behind her and then yet here it's coming <clears> from the left but it does yeah. kind of bounce around so yes and maybe no i don't know i don't know yeah i get you where you're coming from though i totally get it yeah, yeah I, feel I think like... this could have benefited from a crop at the top too honestly um do you i mean I'm I'm not a fan of the the tilt on the moose's head. I understand why you're doing it because you need to get that the the antlers out of the way of the shot, but it just mm -hmm. looks like a weird tilt for the moose, especially when you look at his eyes and the way they're facing. Moose are weird. Change that. It just makes the tilt look weird. I'll <clears> tell <throat> you though, though these these antlers, if you wanted to get that hand in there, these antlers are a real difficult element to deal with in terms of like setting up a shot with somebody riding this thing or something. You know what I mean? It's <clears> really <throat> tricky because they're just freaking huge. Um, they're big. Oh, you're on Photoshop. Yeah. So all I did was just take this down a little bit. I I I like this up here. It's not bad. Maybe just taking it down to where her eyes are on the third or something like that. I wouldn't want to cut off this arrow necessarily to bring yeah. it over there, but like just you don't want to cut off too much of the moose, but just a little less of that kind of brings her more into like a like a central focus, I think. I don't know. It's it's a it's a minor thing. It's a nice shot. It's a nice shot. I like it a lot. It's yeah. it struck me when I saw it for sure. It's a rock one. Good All stuff. Right. <clears throat> we'll move on. Toy Immersion, thank you so much for sharing that. Appreciate it. We'll move on to oh, this guy. Mike. This guy. And I see he's using his new smoke booty thing. With yeah. The, with the yeah. On the ground. Be nice. Smoke ninja. You still haven't got yours, Trevor? No, I got noticed the other day after they sent me the, the this like some like you know I told you it was like some weak yeah. email like send us your name and your address like don't you have all that in Kickstarter like what, you know isn't that like the technology of and they're like that now that we rude. have it all we'll send it out to you I'm like okay great that's nice. horribly depressing that's you're saying I'm gonna get my Ulanzi before you see your Kickstarter smoke ninja thing yeah that's probably. terrible man that's but, crazy yeah because that's supposed to ship out tomorrow according to. Yeah, on the on the third any day, it'll sneak up on me like a ninja. Yeah. Ooh, like a smoke ninja. Like a smoke ninja. So Mike, tell us about your shot. Mm. Well, All right, moving on. It's a, it's a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, um, I just like I like that figure. Uh that unknown one. I, I really think that that's a great looking figure with the, the colors and the texture. Um it's the uncone one, Mike. The the what which one? The uncone one. It was, it's a, it's an, oh. they, they spelled it wrong oh. on the back of the box. It was just, <laughs> they it was, hadn't even noticed. Yeah, they actually did. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I like, you know, I mean, it, it's just a cool shot. I just, just, I mean, I'm, it's, I don't know. You tell me about it. <laughs> well, I like it. I mean, backlighting, awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's the way to go. I, I like the little of, bit of blue. Yeah. I like the little bit of yellow and blue. I a little bit love blue. a little bit of fog on like his uh, hooves, his feet. Yeah, like, just like a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. It's so like yeah. smoke ninja. <laughs> I'd like to have gotten more focus on this guy though. Not a whole lot, but just uh, he's a bit blurrier than I'd like him to be in the face. I think the only thing I would have seen, like to seen, is like uh, he's looking. The unknown one's looking down. I like to see that guy that he apparently slayed like a little more in that middle area but yeah meh, that's all yeah i'm assuming they're buddies or is he coming on to kill him I'm not i think sure. he's coming. well is he gonna hit you know, I, no one because if he is that's, that's what he's doing he's coming up behind him to bash him in the oh, side of the okay. head he's gonna regret that instantly yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he's <laughs> he's coming up behind him he's creeping up to bash him in the side of the head he doesn't know he's coming up you know and gotcha. yeah that's, that's kind of 
Yeah, he's gonna regret that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's all right, shot. It's not it's not I like fantastic. It it's lit it's, it's lit color. nice. It's I mean it's just amazing. You know, it is light nice. Nice. Yeah, the color I love the Lighting color. Is beautiful. Beautiful. Colors pumping. I gotta shoot uh, this Kyle figure. Fox the is, uh, Melfar is in for reality. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he is. I, <laughs> I really like Malafar's other head. I mean, I like this one too, but I really like that. Oh, other the head helmet. That he comes with. Yeah, I really. Oh like yeah, that. I forgot about that one. I I haven't. Wow. Yeah. I I didn't really love this figure when it came out, and I put it together and put it up on the shelf, and I never really looked at it again. I like yeah. it better using the bigger demon wings on him than yeah. the little ones. Yeah. Um, and that helmet does look pretty cool, but I do like this head also. Yeah, the unknown one looks great here. Really yeah, Love the, the colors, wings yeah. look nice and leathery too. I don't know if they mm -hmm. look like before, but yeah, good I job think the them. red, the red bands are a little bit distracting to me on the on the weapons, but you know it is what it is. You on know, the, that's the one rubber bands to to hold his weapons together because no, it feels like. Well, like I think they're probably flesh. sinew. I think yeah. it's like yeah. sinew or flesh or something, but they're yeah, they're a bit. It's, really, a bit yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be flesh yeah. that that's holding the blades on there, but I think it's a little. To me, yeah. they look a little too rosy. Like I wish it would have been yeah. Yeah. dialed down a yeah. bit, like a little darker, like a wash. It needs yeah. a darker wash. That's yeah. what it needs. It's got a pinkish yeah. hue. Yeah, it's got a pinkish hue. Yeah. Pinkish hue. Pinkish hue. <laughs> fuchsia. Fuchsia. Shout out to Paul Morales. <laughs> Hello, everybody. No, uh, not fuchsia. Pinkish. Salmon. Salmon. The salmon. Salmon. Yeah. It's very salmon. <laughs> Pinsy. I mean, it's lit house. nice. It's I could have adjusted a few things Pinsy. on it and made it better, but it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, it'll pass. It. It'll pass. You put it up on the refrigerator, Mike. For sure. <laughs> no more <laughs> final yeah. first, man. Wreckers uh, drinking and uh, Wreckers sure is. Everybody else is giving them a talking to. Like, hey, man. This is good storytelling. I like yeah. That. You can tell he's tired of all the BS that they're getting yeah. put through. It's a good. Yeah. It's a good look on the face. It's a good face. <laughs> it is. Yeah. for yeah. this particular story that he's telling. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> It's a nice shot. Hold down. Screw you Good guys. <laughs> it's a little grainier than I, I thought it should be, though. I don't know why. No, now. but I like the graininess because it kind of gives it almost like that. The like grit, a, yeah. Like a Polaroid photo is what it looks like. Yeah. there's. We were looking at one last night from FOB um, <clears throat> model, FOB models, I think. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, he does With look, Nate, he does yeah. like World War you know, two stuff, and he, he purposely <laughs> adds some grain to it, and I kind of... For like war stuff, I kind of like the green. Like it's yeah, so do I. I, yeah. You know, you have that option when you're doing some stuff in po, you know, in <laughs> like uh, in, in, in in Lightroom or in Photoshop with certain plugins yeah. or even just in editing. And uh, I never really use it, but like for something like like this, I think it kind of works. And for like war shots and stuff, something yeah. you want to look yeah. to like a candid photograph mm -hmm. of a of a moment or like a gritty situation or something. I, I don't know. I think and that's what they. Use that's what they did back then. They had real yeah. high speed film and they were embedded yeah. photographers right. and they yeah, and right. they ran through there just yeah. you know and, and that's what it looked like. It was contrasty and it was yep. blown out and it was grainy and it just right. looked really good, you know. Yeah, that's, and that's why I think it works great for the shot because it, it it's yeah. that like it's you know, he's tired of all the BS, they're in but they were in battle. And so it, yeah, no, it works. The graininess works for this, and and I like it. I like that graininess, the little green on it. I, I like the yeah. use you said earlier, candid, because this does look like a very candid shot as far as like the coloring and everything. It just looks like somebody just kind of snapped this in the middle. Yeah, because I mean, in photographers during battle, like don't have time to adjust exposure yeah. and all that crap. It's got to be, you know, <laughs> what's the lighting like bouncing uh, now? <laughs> bounce <laughs> It's like that they, they, they had all their right? settings right and got the lighting perfect <laughs> as far as that goes too. Because he's gonna like, be there uh, with flash and all that crap. He's gonna. <laughs> this is like yeah, that man. Ilford film, right? Like everything came out very contrast. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ilford. Oh, I remember that stuff. Mm -hmm. man. <laughs> all right, it's really nice. Nicely set up. Yeah. Nicely framed. Good storytelling. I like a little more manly drink right there, though. I'd like something clear in that bottle. Not peachy. <laughs> it's a little. You know, I don't know what he's drinking. There's some maybe, maybe some more brown. Juice. Well, this is space. Yeah, it's you know. space. Yeah. Oh, it's space. Okay. Space juice. Space, space juice. juice. <laughs> <laughs> some <All right>. moonshine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real, Banth real moonshine. Bourbon or something. <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> All right, we got this one here. Oh, look at this guy. 
It's terrible. Look at this guy over here. <laughs> he has, is, he that, uh, is, is that uh, uh, Boba Fett? Boba Fett. Hasbro? Is that Hasbro? No, that's no. a hot toy, right? It's hot, a hot toy. Oh, it's a hot toy, and I'm just playing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is very nice, Moss. Yeah, it is very nice, Moss. Uh, no, yeah. very nice lighting. See, I always kept out of the loop that we can tag our photos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with Pablo? This is a good challenge. I think I kind of told you last time, though. I feel like just a little bit of rim light, I think, would have helped. Just a little bit. No. You know, no. when we talked about it, that other, I yeah. agree with you, but I, I kind of mm. like it, though. The way it yeah, is, I, kinda like it I like too. the way it kind of yeah, like yes. gets almost well, lost. But when, when when I had him on a lighter background, because you know I was blowing vape at it the whole time too. Whenever mm -hmm. it, would, it would diffuse the light behind him and make it brighter back there, it looked really bad. It looked kind of just <clears> cheesy, <throat> like a glamour shot instead of a. No, it looks shot. good though. I, I do like it now, seeing it again, without the rim light, the way we had discussed it the last time. Mm -hmm. But no, it, it's it's a good shot, and I do like the reflection. Also on the on the face. Yeah, that's reflecting his arm on yeah. his face. So. Yeah, like I was just thinking about that actual spot right there. Like, I I like it because it work, works. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of the thing. Like <laughs> if you were to take this years and years ago, and and Mike, you might be like you'd probably airbrush that out for like a <laughs> you know, or in Photoshop you'd take it out now. But like, you know what I mean? Like if this was a real life shot, you'd be like, oh, like like let's fix that. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It, I like the colors yeah, playing off. People used face. to paint that out because my my mother right like used to do that. Like she works for or something like that. It would she, be yeah. My mom used to work for a, a photography studio and there you go. to touch up the photos back then. Yep. They would have to print them and paint them, and like paint yep. all the yeah. all the imperfections for, on the skin uh, and stuff. It, yeah, right? and airbrush it. Yeah, she did a lot of that. Like, Interesting. Like, Damn. No, I deliberately left that in there for the simple fact that it just adds to the metallic look of the figure. Oh, yeah, it adds. It's, it, it, it it's works. natural. It's in camera. I felt mm -hmm. like... Yeah, it might be there. too flat if you took it out. So as long as you can figure out where it comes from, no, I was like, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> no, it looks good. It does. Thank you, guys. All right, we'll move on, then. All righty. Sketch Toy Corner. I didn't see this one yet. We got the... Uh, hey. got a little here. Somebody with a hat. Oh, okay. That's like the security camera shot. All right. I like the yeah that first shot. Um, I feel like there needs to be some more light though. Yeah, I was gonna say just a little yeah. bit of bounce. If you had a bounce card on the bottom, like in front, where you don't see it. I do want to know what happened to this other leg though. Yeah, that is a good hmm. question. Nope, it's not there either. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess he's stepping uh, out of this, but that's that's a really wide gate. Yeah, yeah. Not that or, leg he, at all. or is he stepping down from something? If he's stepping think, down from something, that makes sense. I but... think he is stepping down. Yeah, but look how far back that is that he's stepping down from. Like I said, the gate's weird. It's the just probably the, the bottom edge of that. I mean, I, I I know I know the limitations on the on the bent of the leg, but I mean. After you know, seeing it now, he might be. If he's stepping down, then it, it works for the the amount of articulation you get. But it almost looked like that thing was in front, but then like the coat's over it, so it didn't make sense until I saw that it's part of the floor. So that's why I was wondering where the leg was at. But hmm. but I think if he had a little bit of a, just a bit more bounce light, I think we would have been able to see more of the detail, and it would have made a little bit more sense. I think. And then you got that, that sheen on the plastic here around the nose, which is kind of bothering me a bit. Um, Some dough coat, man. Spray that with dough coat. Yeah. It'll eliminate all that. Other than that, it's pretty nice, man. I, I just feel like there needs to be a little bit more light in here. I know you're going for that dark subway thing, like he's just getting off a train or something, but it, it's still very under. I mean, he could. What, almost, like point. the light he has on here works. But if he had a bounce card, just to bounce more of that light that he has already in the environment, would have just popped it out a bit more. Yeah. Um, we're going to back up real quick to, to address Machi Toy's question here. It says, wouldn't the repulsor ref reflect on Iron Man's helmet, like coming from between the fingers? 
<laughs> I, this is kind of farther out, though. I mean, so... <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's not in camera. This this is not shoot out that far from the figure. You're like when I had the battery in there, lighting up the repulsor, I had to add to it because it was very dim uh, for the arm. So, but you did have some blue light in there. Where, did you have a blue light on top also? Because you can <clears> see it on the top of the head. I have a the... blue light hitting here from from the backside. So yeah, on him it works because it's hitting him here, which that's why I did it to kind of outline the hand and and also to give that kind of same look like this is hitting some of that but if you look at where it's hidden like here and here is it necessarily going to make it all the way to there because that's that's you know your arms what two feet from hand to face yeah. and we're talking about fingers in the way and just like a diffused light coming out of that at most so um <sighs> i don't know what do you think trevor you're the realistic no one. you got i think that's a little too much i'm actually <clears throat> Like it's kind of covering it up. Like it, it I don't know. But I don't know. Like no, I don't think. I don't think, I don't think that's necessary, man. I don't think. It's necessary. You don't think? No, the light... I don't think. I don't think it's. Just... Yeah, no, no, I don't think. It I was mean, I might have seen a little on more on the fingers or something like that, but I mean, I tried. I'm looking at it as like it, like it's just like firing up right now. You know what I mean? Like it's just he's just got you know you hear that, you know, and it's like it's about ready to fire. You know what I mean? And it's like it's not really out there yet so i know yeah well that's what i was going oh <laughs> oh that's where we're coming from i forgot about the bell <laughs> you got you got dinged dong <laughs> Manzilla, so that's the screen up, table there, so props nice. yeah. oh that's right he did mention that's that true. it was a screen table that's Monty funny Korea. that's funny yeah, Twin Earth, uh, let me put Put my Iron Man suit on and take a shot in this pose. And let you know. All right. <laughs> awesome. Um, seventy-eight points of articulate. Man, Damn. Yeah. This. Is, on this, man. I just love how much that eye pops through the mask. What the hell is this? It's the. It's that outfit from Kyle Labs. The oh, outlaw yeah? outfit for he made oh. it specifically for vapor. So that's the hood that comes with it and the jacket and the scarf. <laughs> oh, I see. It's the holes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I yeah, it's the hood. Yeah, what the holes going on there. Like it was so yeah. tight to the to the face that I thought it was like there was a green area on the black. I see it's like mm. a mm -hmm. big hole in it. I got you. Okay. This is nice. beautiful, man. Well, I love when I first saw the shot that I, and I didn't comment on it, mm -hmm. but like I kind of got the like he was trying to be Batman because it almost <laughs> looks like he's got oh. the ears. Yeah. <laughs> Like you see the yeah. little, the little bag divots. man, <laughs> bag man, bag man, bag man. Yeah, right. And that's that double trouble pack too. He's using there yeah. with the mm -hmm. money bags with and the, the money guns bags. And the, yep. Yeah, I like those handcuffs. What are those handcuffs come from, from though? That I don't know. I thought it was. The are one. they the vigilante set that, for the new gaslight? Oh thing? no, no, because they the the ones that come in the vigilante set look more of that era. These don't look like that. What's that dozen? No, something. No, there's another pack that Mezco put out. I don't know what it was, but anyway, is that the good. street this light from good. the Fantastic Four set? Or is that? Oh, good question. I don't know. What Fantastic Four, the one that just came out, Mezco one. Yeah, yeah they have like a that? they have like a uh, was it Lancy Street or whatever? Uh, yeah, Lancy Street. No, I don't think that's it. No, that's mm -hmm. a good looking light post, man. It is a good looking light, light post. That was it. I'm gonna have to ask 78. Yeah, message him. Good looking. A lot of texture. I love the 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 highlights and the shadows in here that just bring all that texture out. Looks really yeah. really good. I love the diorama right texture in the building too. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Sketch Toy Corners uh, coming in. He says yo yo, and yeah, I agree. Some bounce. <clears throat> Angle. I took it at the coat. Kind of erased the leg. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I was just curious whether he was stepping down from yeah. something or just. Yeah, I was like, wondering where that leg was too. Once he mentioned it, I couldn't stop seeing it. I was like, where's the leg? <laughs> where's the leg? Dang it, Pablo. I was happy until you said, where's the I, leg? Hey, I, I was happy too until where? I saw, like, where's the leg? <laughs> I was like, what happened to the leg? Someone's, um, someone's having some turtle leg somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish there was a little bit of light coming from down here on this side of the street. I was going to say, there's nothing over there, man. That's not where the picture the picture in I really like the street lamp. I think I'm enamored. Like I would have tightened it up a little bit and maybe like cropped it from the right and like not had so much of that dark area up there. But hmm. I mean, I still like it the one that. I mean, there's no. Go ahead, go ahead. About it. No, there's just something about it. Been awesome up there. 
Maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit. A little bit cool. yeah. But I it like seems the, like it's like... going to be late at night if this guy's walking around with yeah. cash hanging out of the bag. You know? I just feel like it would be yeah. a nice triangular kind of thing going on. You had like a, something going right here. To well, yeah, you, I mean, you would think if, I mean, if. if well, it kind of leads the eye. Yeah, it leads that's the, the eye to the light, yeah. though. Yeah. The darkness mm -hmm. leads the light to the bright side of the frame. And and so I I get it. Yeah, like it, it acts as a frame. I I, I mm -hmm. just I think I would have moved him over on the third instead of having him centered on it. I think it would have been yeah. even more interesting or something. Yeah, I, don't know. I just love the way the eye looks. It looks great. I mean, the leg is gorgeous, man. It's really really <laughs> nice. Yeah. I like the sacrifice of the legs of the feet for the for the light <clears throat> for the mm -hmm. top sure. of the light. Oh, I yeah. like that. Uh, it works. It works Absolutely, here because yeah. you're showing the light source, and uh, I like that. It's a good and angle. You look like you're. You look like you're. It's like your victim level. You know what I mean? Like you're. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're yep. next. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you saw nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <That's> right. <laughs> no, might. I might have left. The, I might have left the bottom handcuff open, if you had that option. Yeah. Yeah. But that. But that's. I am curious. Well, he cut the arm off and took the arm right. out of it. it yes. Whoever he was handcuffed to. Or he yeah, broke whatever he was handcuffed to. You know, didn't pick it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, but that's, yeah, it's a good shot, shot, man. Yeah, fantastic. Seventy-eight points, man. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you for sharing it. We're gonna move on to uh, one six shooter. He's got his floating Love ghost me. man. Love this shot. This is called floating ghost man, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm pointing ghost man. Uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Josh Green, Sage JDG for coming through this dial and like that dial is beautiful, yeah. man. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I weathered it up a little bit, but it's it's fantastic, man. It's really really good. Um, this is all you know wires and uh, just it's over the top. They're all you know kind of like lined up on the top of that ceiling portion, and there's a, a one two three block, one of those heavy lead blocks holding all the wires in place. And nice. uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, little fog. A shameless promotion, Trevor. I'm here for it. <laughs> I get something in here, man. You know. I do love um, the fireplace a lot. Yeah, and and you know what, Carver Customs was was building. I asked him to to put together a fireplace. Little did I know that he had. I didn't even find this until later. Like, if you ever buy like a die or something like that has multiple pieces, and I was unwrapping like a piece of. Uh, of a bubble wrap and i found like that the josh had done like a little fireplace insert like it's little little frame it was really nice like i would have put it in the shot i didn't even know it was in the box oh dang uh, <laughs> um but carver was making me a light up uh a little log set you know with fire and stuff but this is just a couple of those shf things like put on a like a little piece of wood and stuff so it, it is what it is you know that's uh, nice though right. Good stuff. anything yeah, else you want to talk about with this? Not me. No, I, I love this. I love everything about this shot. It's beautiful. Can we take a look at the second shot again? A little bit. He's just pointing, man. He's just yeah. like, I love the. Harry, why are I, you never here on time? That's what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but was I love here the on dramaticness time. of this stuff. Yeah, like, this cool. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I mean, this was one of the last. Like, so this is kind of like my, like, you know, you'll, you know, uh, more like uh, the first will come at like the stroke of one or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um the panes in the window he didn't he didn't put those in i had to put those in in post and then the frost in the window gotcha. oh wow that, that, yeah that's yeah that looks great and i had that little wintry touch to yes. every all these shots with the windows but that yeah. clock worked out perfectly man that's yeah the, clock the, 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 yeah. Death. the red death yeah so good <laughs> like so awesome. good it's such an awesome prop i love using that thing it really is yeah, and the safety the, most... the safety yeah. came with with this figure also is perfect like, oh yeah, I, I've it's already used great. it for several shots with with my vapor. <laughs> it's like, it's yep. just fantastic. I kind of wish I would have ordered a few more because I wanted, I wanted to make like a, like one of those old school bank vaults. You know, mm -hmm. there's like those little mm -hmm. little safes and just have them breaking them into. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you said, like I said on the, uh, oh well, like I said, but like on Legion's Lounge, we figure out you could take those little clips off the books mm -hmm. and use them for. Just regular books and stuff but yeah i mean i watched a lot of i mean i love a christmas carol as it is but i watched a lot of uh re-watched a lot of things that i'd watched before just to kind of get some inspiration for this it's fantastic the lighting of like you know like stage players and stuff like that because that's you know 
Mm -hmm. I didn't really want to do too much post work to make it look ghostly. So it's just a real direct light on him um, that doesn't really spill over. So. Well, you get made it a soft light somehow, even though it's direct. So it's very low. I mean, I, I sometimes shoot underexposed and then bring things up so that it doesn't really get like too, you know, because I mean, the plastic and stuff. I mean, that's a technique. You know what I mean? Like, if as long as you're shooting raw and you can pull out stuff from the photo, like you, you can shoot a little underexposed. Yeah, Cloud apparently is using that clock too, man. Yep. Such a nice piece. It's one of the pushing, the deciding factors why I bought that mask of red. Down. Yeah, I mean, figures cool and everything too. Yeah. All right, Trevor, man, thanks for sharing that. Yeah, move on. Yeah. Let's move on. Oh, oh look! Oh, look Gee, at that. There's more. There's more, Trevor. That's that's, that's, that's that's pictures. That's my Trevor. favorite one there. What? Yeah, you Careful, now, now you're just cheap. Product Ooh. shots. Um, yeah, this was the first thing I shot. Like this was the. That's first my favorite shot. This is, yeah, this one, my favorite one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like how the chains come into the foreground a bit and the background. I like how That's I at my in my head. The first thing I was gonna do is like have him like before I even got the dial. I saw saw pictures of the dial. I was gonna have him standing between those two windows and having all those chains. I didn't how I know how long they were, like coming. You know, they were in the foreground of the shot, mm. way back, like holding Ooh. them all. Mm. Um, it didn't, you know, some of the chains aren't quite as long as others. Yeah. So, like, it didn't really work out that way. But I think this, right. is, you know, having the safe up in front and a couple of them, you know, closer to the camera was like an interesting, uh, you know, it helps to frame it. You know, you got like a little bit of yeah. a golden uh, ratio going on there. Not quite. He's more centered. But anyway, but yeah, all the frost on the windows is post. Photoshop awesome. and all that stuff. So, um, but it was it was fun to shoot, man. Except that yeah. stupid little candle up there on the the mantle. So that's a dollhouse candle. It has a light bulb in it. Does it's great. It, it, it produces some great light. The the plug in that you have to use for the dollhouses. You know what I mean? The little plug. Oh, the little two prong. I think you burnt out because I went and bought fuses for it, and it still wouldn't freaking work. Oh. So I had to take a little one of those little um, you know, bulb. Uh, things that you pull the little tab out and it lights up and mm -hmm. stick it. Back oh yeah, there and, like let it light mm. up the wall and then take it out in Photoshop and yeah, whatever. Mm. It's annoying. <laughs> awesome man. All right, Trevor, we move on. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Ooh, Ordos Escape. Ordos Escape. Escape. I like to say that because of you know Nemo. Kind of Nemo. Uh, Ordos Escape. Um, this is a cool figure. I get you got an interesting red translucence going on through the head. Yeah, this is yeah. The yeah. Too. Is that is that part of the figures like yeah. thing? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I mean they're gonna do uh, a standard release, but I don't think it's gonna come with the translucent head. Really come with the translucent yeah. head. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I like the setup of the scene. I do feel like he definitely needs some kind of rim lighting behind him, though. Yeah. Something to pull him a bit off that black. Yeah, uh, I know you got a nice outline going with the red and red, but you need to cut that with some white to kind of just. I mean, yeah, he's got a little bit of white behind him because you yeah. can see. I would have flipped those lights, right? Like, yeah, I would have had the white in front and the, the red. Front, yeah, back the back. red would have like, yeah. even if you put it behind him, like behind his cape, like it would have like come through the face. Yeah, really nicely. Yeah, that's it. So Alex here uh, says the purpose of me shooting this was to figure out how the hell to get the head to work. Oh. <laughs> is this Alex? Okay. I guess so. I guess so. Or does this um, You know, a great thing to do with these translucent things, like you can, if you've got like a pen light or something like that, you could do a little light painting or yeah. even just clamp it. Like if you can get like a little alligator clamp or something like that, if you get a tiny little pen light, like something, you know, not, not too expensive. And just clamp it to that and like put it right behind the head it looks really cool it like, does lights it up like really really well um, yep. and then you could just light your figure regularly you know what i mean with some blue and orange or blue and red or yellow and whatever yeah i think you just need a little i think you needed to reverse these lights that would have been good i know cory <clears throat> cory uh steam mung bean he's uh working on doing so he he took the neck pegs off these figures, I, it's off of this one and then off of I forgot which other one, and he drilled a hole through it and put a light with a battery pack in there, so mm. it'll automatically oh, light wow. that head. Mm. Uh, and I think he's he's in the process of getting cool. some printed to work that way. But yeah, I would hit him up, man, because that that's an awesome idea to get those heads yeah, to light cool. up that way. Mm -hmm. 
This does look really cool, though, but I think it, it does need a little bit more, um, particularly just to cut that red down some yeah. and pull them off that black. <clears throat> really what you want to do. But... I don't think I would say, like, lighting it up from inside, Pablo, is like it, it tends to, like, go through the head. Yeah, you get that Pablo's... weird dome light. Yeah. Yeah, and I kind of like it, like, just lighting it up from the back. like. But right. it, it worked really nice on the helmet yeah. head. That has the white vampire face because the eyes yeah. glow for some reason. Like the, it's like you blacked out the top of the bulb or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that, it, mm -hmm. so that the, the head isn't all glowy. Yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. we digress. All right, Alex, man, thanks so much for sharing this, man. I hope yeah, to see more awesome from shot. you soon. We'll move on. Oh wait, wait, we see more from him now. There you go. <laughs> what if Escape? Yeah. Wish. Oh, this is interesting. Using the three seven five figures on this. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I Good I idea. Love that. Yeah, I like it. So like the yeah, Mandalorians are, are getting their butts whooped. Yep. Yes, they should. Can't mess with Craig Dog, man. You did that, Pablo, didn't you? Yeah, I did it with the uh, with the my Berserker and I used Archimedes. The, oh, Berserker. Yeah, that's right. yeah. I used the um, the Joy Toy. Um, yeah. Something Sons of Raja or whatever figures. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, well, it works great. In this case, we can we can see the figure better. I mean, he's definitely. Lit. I like the action going on. The action is pretty good. I, uh, it looks like you have a little bit of atmosphere, but I think I would have wanted a little bit more. But the lighting yeah. is great. I love the lighting, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think he needed some kind of consistent, like, up light going down, like, just kind of. I was going to say the same thing. I think he needed a little god light on this thing. Because, light, yeah, like, yeah. The background is, is obviously extreme set, and it's lit like. There's light coming from the top. Um, yeah, it looks like that's something up there, but it's not quite overhead of the figure. And I think if it was over the figure, it would look cool. Yeah, uh, I think the white, the light on the left is a little hot. Um, it could have yeah, been a little more in the mid section. Out. Yeah, in the mid section. Closing in the the Mandos, I think is really good. I would have liked to seen Kragner, and I realize he's not the most posable figure, but maybe a bent leg, maybe a turned torso. You know, maybe his head whipping around, looking at you know what I mean. Just a little more action oh, in his, his body. Man. You know what I mean? Like, uh, again, it's 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 a little limited with the neck turns and stuff like so that. So, yeah. what do you think of this this is a suggestion? Then a little bit of a uh, you know god light, of course, but yep. aim more away from this wall behind it, so you're not getting this this you know this uh, this effect here. This you know lit up reflecting. Well, or it. had something to match that because I kind of like that look. Of like, yeah, I like. I yeah, I think that, like, another light. I don't yeah. know where that light coming from. Look, you know what I mean? <laughs> like a cave or something like that, or a castle. It's like it must be an opening in the ceiling, and the moon is coming through. But it doesn't make a difference. It looks cool. Um, yeah. And, I think and then just though, with, the, with the lighting he's got in front, like that's all. It's just kind of yeah. I would have killed that light in front entirely and put a bounce over here instead. Yeah, getting yeah, that yeah. god light and letting that kind of. Bring some light back over to yeah. here because yeah, yeah, light over here doesn't yeah, make a lot of that. The motivated then, uh, lighting on the left is fine. I mean, it's a yeah. little, it's a little reddish for you know. I mean, when you're dealing with an orange character, adding red to it, it gets a little weird. Like I think I would have warmed that up a little bit or something. Um, mm -hmm. but I mean, this is this it's pretty good. I mean, mm -hmm. compositionally, I would have liked to have seen the all of that guy, maybe lift him up. In the back there, the guy on the le on the right side that's cut off a little bit, just like lift him up a little bit, and he would have been in the shot. But it's very nice. That's good. The BTS and the story. Good there. use of the aquarium rocks. Too. That's what those are. Those little black yeah. stones. Yeah, I like that. Although he's got them around the left foot, like as if he's stepping in something, and on the right foot, it's kind of like he's on the table. If you look at the shot, like it's like just just push those around the foot a little more. Yeah, like the yeah, the, yeah. Back. That where you don't see the the table a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah, that's true. Just to just to keep it concise, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but like if it's like a like a tarry, sticky, I don't know, road or something. I don't know, whatever. It's pretty good though. I like it. I yep. do like it a lot. Good shot, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you, you, Alex. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the oh, join. Symbiote oh. Sunday. Symbiote, symbiote, symbiote. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> um, so there you go. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of symbiotes, and I guess he posted this on Sunday. 
And uh, what? we're in a wrestling ring. For some reason, it's very purple out there. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. What are they doing? Purple. There's a lot of there's what one two what? three four the four venoms and then what's hell? her name uh spider Gwen venom, venom. computer venom. yeah Gwenom yep Gwenom and we got Spider Man there and a regular Gwen there another Spider Man there and which Spider Man is um a sticky black brawl yeah um <laughs> I don't like the way it sounds <laughs> yeah I'm a little it is kind of <laughs> We're just sweating a lot. I don't like it. Oh my God. I don't like it. Did you have some candy <laughs> and just, it, it, it just kind of melted and just went down there and got all sticky. I don't know. Um, anyway, um, yeah, no chewing mint. This is a cool concept, but I got to ask it what's with all the purple? Why is everything purple? It just I like the purple off the black, though. I mean, yeah, the purple and the black, but I feel like it needs to be cut with a little bit of something, something. Uh, I think he's got a little white on the other side. I mean, maybe if that was brought out, I'm because when I first looked at this, I'm like, oh, this is like some sort of. I didn't realize it was multiple. I mean, I you know some of them obviously are are separate figures, but the three in the middle, I was almost like, is that like? Yeah, it looked like one figure at first. Yeah, I thought it was like a two headed venom that I didn't never had seen before. Um, No actual. Okay. uh, But I mean, it's cool. I mean, the effect of it is cool that they're all kind of like. I don't know, glooping. <laughs> oh, here you go. Hold on. No chewing is in here. He says, I was going for a Judgment Day vibe. They do a lot of purples. I was also thinking. I like the color. No, I like the color too. Yeah. I, the he purples, does have how white. They kind of shade him in the good color. with that. Because you can see the white on the Venom eyes. So, I mean, there's white in there. Is Look it, is what's popping? Look up. Right. What's popping? Look up. You're here just in time for the purple <laughs> Venom people eater. The I think Venom it, people eat it. Jesus yeah. Christ. One eye, one horn, flying purple. Sticky black brawl. Okay. <laughs> I think it maybe if that hand uh, of the, the one that's kind of reaching down had had somebody, because I mean, it, I'm looking at this like cage match, right? Yeah. Like they're just all in there and it's like last man standing and now it's just them. And yeah, I agree with that. Like, if he had a know, head like, there. if he had had like somebody's head like slammed into <clears> the ground or something like that. Um, yeah, going my on? only other critique would be the hands on the, the characters in the back. I mean, not that they they're they're dead or anything, but they you know just have them like resting on the ground if they're out, like just either pushing up or you know. I mean, Spider Man looks like he's getting up in the background there, so that's good. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's a that's a minor thing, but like uh, yeah, I just would have had some interaction, I think, with that. That one guy in the front, the hand is like so perfectly right there. It would have yeah, been it would have been perfect to have a head, head in his hand, or like you know, like shoving something down, or yeah, uh, yeah. Tell the story a little bit more. I mean, I think yeah, I get the story. It's, it's space sort of, you know, around them. There's like nothing's going on. It's just a whole bunch of right. Like maybe yeah. a little I mean, more. Yeah, yeah. You know what this That's image all. kind of reminds me of? Um, it, the thing. So. Like it reminds me of a one-eyed one. Oh. Yeah, it reminds me of the millimeter. Right. So it's like having a bunch of bodies mm-hmm. put in together to make you know venom soup, so to speak. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it, it, it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But I, I agree. You know, having uh, Spidey's head there, you know, have his body collapse or something like that. You know, like a a, a head slam. That that would you need be perfect. that Marvel Select Venom that's got like the three heads or that's madness venom. Yes, you need that madness venom. That would be awesome. Because they're also like posing like a like for a shot, you know, <laughs> like for a groupie. And like well, uh, she is. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean that's she looks like she could be taking one, but like they're all like like, like to have like somebody's head like like yeah, you know what I mean? Like that's right. You know, yeah. like we just Wipes all these the MFers out, you know what I mean? Like that was. Yeah, they were cool. all like piled on, like they're trying to take a group picture more than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like they're all looking towards a camera, going. You took all these. Or at least MFers. these these ones kind of are, and they, they're the most predominant. These are a little off, but this one's still looking at the camera. But it's it's well done. I mean, the composition is really good. Yeah. Like you said, I think I would have liked to have somebody more down in that left corner to to sort of frame it a little more, and I really would have liked somebody to have been involved. You know, either the hand grabbing, maybe even the guy in the back has somebody grabbed by the neck or something like that. You know what I mean? Like something like that. Like they're a little more involved with the people in the ring. 
I feel like the image though needs more depth on top of that too, like beyond the ring. I think that's Tricky. part of it too. Uh oh, uh, I'm gonna. It just falls into like darkness back there, even though purple darkness, but darkness. I'm gonna anyway. disagree with that because it's more like a comic book cover, like kind of thing. Like I could see this okay. like fading towards the top and like having a logo up there or something like that. Like it kind of works. There you go. There you go. You know what I mean? It all depends. Your logo, like, flying purple venometer. I'm kind of stuck on that, guys. I'm sorry, I can't. Help it. <laughs> but I, I think the lighting is good. Um, the more I look at it, the more I'm, I'm figuring out discerning what's what in the front you know what i mean it's almost like they're playing twister yeah well, that'd be cool to have a little twister it actually would be fun as hell <laughs> that would have been dope all right well no chewing man uh, no? tongue <laughs> on yellow <laughs> tongue on you. <laughs> thank you for sharing that buddy appreciate it uh let's move on to the alpha raptor cz Alpha Raptor CZ, and we've got some dinosaurs, even the nice little foreground dinosaur guys doing some, mm -hmm. uh, some stuff here, which is cool. It's happening here. Um, and, uh, and no choice is going to steal your 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 twister on you. <laughs> it's gone now. It's gone. Credit. It's gone. Can't have it. Um, yeah. So we got Alpha Raptor. Uh, we've got these plants. They're not too symmetrical, which is awesome. Um, Cloud Fox will dino party. Um, I feel like we just need one more piece behind this dinosaur separating this from the wallpaper. That would like be nice. Drops into that wallpaper or whatever that background is. And... But you did a pretty good job of like color grading this to match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the that you know, like the um, you know, the the um the contrast works with the background. It's a little misty. You know, again, I'd love to see Offer After get I don't think he uses like a like a fog machine or anything like that. Uh, I don't know if they do that or not, but it, like something like that was, I mean, I mean, it's dinosaurs, man. You know, I mean, it just it works like fog along the ground and fog. You know what I mean? It, it just sells it so well. I, I feel like if you can get this moss to go back to this part here, like back this far. Yeah. You could pile it. You don't want to move moss. the screen down. You want to get this moss to go back that far so that it falls off to the focus too. You've mm -hmm. got to get earlier and go back that far. You can get the moss to kind of meet that point in the horizon. I think all your problems will be solved as far as that 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 break I'm seeing between the the foreground and background. Um, you wouldn't even need to add extra plants and stuff. I think if you can just get that to fall off properly and go that far to this point in the horizon, I think you'd be fine. I I wonder if it would have <clears throat> if moving that dead dinosaur that those little ones are on top in the in the background would have separated it more. That's dead. That's the dinosaur well, they're eating drawn. something yeah. apparently here. Now I'm but... sad. Uh, yeah, I can see what I see. That's like the tail, the butt, mm -hmm. the, the thigh. Like they're, they're eating. They're eating something because that's a little T Rex that those raptors were. Just like chicken. <laughs> it's like chicken. Just like. Chicken. I'm wondering if that would have helped, giving it that that separation in the background. But then, the, it would have had that void there on the right though. Too, though. <clears throat> Yeah, it would have taken away the foreground. He would have had yeah. to put something else there also. But I wonder if that would have helped also if he would have moved that and then just put something else there in the foreground, like like a tree or, or something. Pile of dung. <laughs> a pile of dung. That's <laughs> big I, I really think his problems would be solved when you just get that, that, that matching up between the background and the, the, the foreground. If you can get that matched up a little bit better. But the lighting's great on this, man. Yeah, the lighting is, is mm -hmm. perfect. The blacks are perfect in there. Yep. I think yeah, you get them off. I guess they'd go up here. Uh, JP Rex says, uh, I'd say he went for the Lost World promo shot recreation, in which case he nailed the pose of oh. all dinosaurs. So, nice. Nick. Yep. Can, can we pull that up? I know, right? Now, I'm going to have to Google this. Yeah. <laughs> wanna, can we compare? <laughs> If you can't compare, then I call BS. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a good That's shot, Alpha. Good, good job. Good. Oh. Alpha Raptor, thank you so much for sharing that, man. Let's see what's next. Oh, oh network. <laughs> Not JP Rex, as we possibly assumed, but no, Cloud Network has jumped in the middle between Alpha Raptor and JP Rex. Maybe even more. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Unsolved mystery. <laughs> uh, go, go ahead, guys. Don't don't let me uh, hold you up. I feel like the perspective is a little. Well, I don't know. I I don't like the head sculpt um direction of uh the vampire knight because uh, it's facing the camera but it's not facing the knight. Mm. I don't even know what that means. But, hmm. Facing the camera, like just not looking I know. Right, the right direction. Floor. Instead of looking down at the floor, it look yeah, yeah, he's looking the at the looking directly at us. Yeah. Or 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 is she looking at the hand? Uh, there's nothing in the hand because the sword <laughs> that she's holding it's in her hand. Yeah, he's holding oh, up yeah. the hand of kind of like no, yeah no. the. The positioning of the hand, I like. I like the. Um, I like the story, um, but the positioning of the hand, you got. Uh, there's certain things like you got to just watch. You know, when you're looking at it, like it's fine, but it does kind of look like almost like is he grabbing for the sword? I mean, you can tell that it's in a distance, but like, it's just an unfortunate placement. I think I would have had his arm like a little more down and his, his hand out, like as if he was shielding his face. I mean, um, like lower and looking up more. Like more behind the shoulder and looking up instead of where we're at, which is yeah, head level with him. I feel like a tighter uh, lens might have helped with this. I don't know what lens that he's shooting on, or maybe if this is even on the phone. But I yeah, she's, she's new to this, so like you know, yeah, I mean, I mean, even on the phone, you can change the um, yeah, the focal length on the phone too. Yeah. So. Play around with that too. You don't have to use, you know, one X or whatever. That that that's the default. You can switch it to two X, three X, or whatever. I'll so be honest. This is a too. tricky uh, composition to start out with. Anything that where you've got a foreground character that close to the camera and another character that you're really focusing on, and trying to get the story without it like being propped in a weird way, mm. it's tough, man. <laughs> it's it's uh-huh. really. It's a tricky. It is tricky. Shot to do even for people like I've approached this sometimes and it's failed sometimes, man. Like I just yep. you know, like you're either like the character in the foreground isn't recognizable or you can't get it into a good position or it doesn't. You know what I mean? Like it's just mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. So I would like go back to this and maybe try a, another um, approach to mm-hmm. having them fight. Um, even having her standing over him with the sword, you know, down is neck and like him straight on the camera with the, with the neck back or something like that could be a little more interesting like a vertical shot triangular uh composition or something also compositionally tricky what she's trying to do here you know what i mean like yeah. mm-hmm. clock i i think we t- she talked about this in the on the cabal like just kind of put it in there i don't i don't know if that works you know i mean like the, she's new to this, so like there's not a lot of dio pieces or anything like that to deal with. I think she did a good job, um, you know, using what she had. Um, I think that blue light, light needed to be off that wall and like <clears throat> angled. I was gonna say that, yeah, scene as opposed to onto the scene. Mm-hmm. So, so from behind, and if those are actual, I don't think there's those are holes in the wall, right? Those are just like, oh, so like little. Little grooves or something like that. I think yeah, those grooves. grooves. Yeah. Those are grooves. Yeah. Like you yeah, I was gonna say about the, the blue there, lights. Yeah. Instead of having the blue light, because it, it looks like the blue lights directly onto the dial, I would have had the blue light right. bouncing off a white card, so it would have diffused right. the, that brightness. Because it look it, right. it looks hot. The blue looks hot, right. but not like extremely hot mm-hmm. where it's blown out, but right. it just looks hot. It's too sad. I do like this god light of on coming down the vampire. Yeah, the, the mm-hmm. lighting on the face of uh, of the vampire, Cre- yeah, Lucretia, Lucretia. Um, I think it is Lucretia, Yeah, uh, is really nice. Um, that's really nice. I like what's going on there. Um, I would do more of that. I'll keep that, and then I would try and backlight with you know, some purples or blues. Um, now, I don't maybe know an how... orange to to like offset the purple. You know what I mean? Like now, I don't know how big this, the... this yeah. dio is. But yeah. I would have, I would want to move her further away from that wall and the night, like yeah, move further away so you don't see For the sure. detail of the background. For sure, because right now everything in the back is too in focus with her, and they kind of, yeah. you don't, you lose the depth because of that. But if you can separate her further away from that wall, I, like and like I said, yeah. I don't know how big this dial is. Yeah, that would help give you more depth away from that wall. Right. 
and it's going to make it look like a bigger area. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I mean, Cloud, I'd like to see like do like some tighter shots um, with her. Like I know you, she's really into the vampires and stuff, and they're great. They yeah. they shoot really well up close. Like their their expressions are really cool, and there's a lot of lines in the faces and stuff. Yep. Try some up close shots with them. You know what I mean. Try some portrait shots with them. Uh, yeah. Use this background, but like keep the background out of focus. Like Pablo said, move it for move the character forward a little bit towards the camera, and just use it as texture basically in the background. Um, I think that could be cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. So back to the posing of this. I was just playing mm -hmm. around with this. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to translate. Mm -hmm. Well, you, don't be afraid. Don't know how to pose. <laughs> Damn. Don't be afraid <laughs> to. Uh, I let y'all talk. Now let me talk. Don't be afraid to to lift characters up higher than what they're supposed to be, especially if you're coming from a lower angle. Mm. So, say you got, you know, say they're on the same plane. So this yep. looks weird. You know, Batman, of course, is not the best figure, but that's just yep. what I got, right? So, this is your about about where your angle is, right? Mm -hmm. Let's move this character up and go more like that. And imagine the floor, of course, being where it should be, which is, let me see. But put him, you know, raise this character up a little bit. And that way you can get underneath Batman, or, well, in your case, whoever mm -hmm. that armored person is, more. And it will make the, make the shot pan out a little bit better. It'll get that <clears throat> sword out of his hand so it doesn't look like it's in his hand. In fact, if you frame it right, what I was doing is actually you can get the, the two arms the arm to frame between this hand here and, yeah. and the head. I was gonna say even tighten it up even more. I would maybe yeah. lift Batman up and like have the the arms like you've got him yeah. are almost framing the character. You know what I mean? And and you don't even have to have him laying down. Like you could have him. Yeah, yeah. you, know you know can what have mean? him doing whatever you want. Up, and if it's cropped at the bottom of the picture, you can't tell where the rest of his, his body is. You know what I mean? Like right yeah. there, that looks yeah. like. Who cares where he's coming from? He's obviously below him, and yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just kind of fast fudging this, but yeah, something something like that. Don't be afraid to lift, mm -hmm. lift her up, like like in this picture you got here. Put her on a something higher. Come down with the camera, get lower, and aim up more. You may even have to lift up the diorama if you want that wall behind her more. As a matter of fact, you might be going above shot, the diorama. Yeah, if but it'll if get you Risha behind his shoulder right, and really yeah. let you frame it and get that that shot where it needs to be. Because I think you got a lot of potential here. Yep. I mean, the blue, you can desaturate that blue a little bit. They're talking about that blue on the wall mm -hmm. and the blue on him. Just pull the saturation down on that a little bit. Um, you know, make it look more like a cooler light instead of a dark blue like that. And I do agree the clock doesn't necessarily need to be there. But um, to to the point of, like, posing like you were talking about, Maz, like, if, if she was in the position of the clock, then, you know, and you cropped it into that area, then you'd have, like, the head and the hand sort of framing mm -hmm. her. You know what I mean, and it, that yeah. would actually be a better shot. Like, well, you do want that hand better. pointing towards her because he's supposed to be like warding her away. Like, no, well, her don't. hand that the hand you could turn just a little. Yeah, bit, yeah. You know yeah. I mean, yeah. But yeah, you wouldn't have to turn the whole body necessarily. He yeah, could be on his true. side looking at her, and like, you know what I mean. Like, he doesn't have to be. I was just giving Cloud some ideas. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's got there. a lot of like. Yeah, she's got a lot of stuff here to get that shot right. Like, yeah. Um, does that mean I it's not here? We do it try to get in tighter, like like what we were discussing with that. Yeah, if you get in tighter, um, yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, but then, like, like I said, also, like, I don't know how big that Hellraiser dial is. If it, you're you can always raise it up, you can, that is you can on the same plane as, as Lucretia. You can put you know, wherever you got her standing on to make her higher, you can bring that dial up higher because you're shooting from a lower angle, you mm -hmm. shouldn't have any real problems there. Everything's gonna. Because you're not shooting well, from a lower angle to make him look bigger. You're shooting from a lower right. angle to make That's her also look assuming bigger. that that wall comes off the floor. So I don't know whether that dial comes apart or that. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you can just get the wall. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Something as simple, or even something as simple as moving her a little bit more to the center, even if you cut off a piece of the sword, moving her a little bit to the center and taking the knight and adjusting him a little bit more to the left, where his hand could be touching um that blue light, kind of like you see the, the transition between mm -hmm. his hand into the blue light mm -hmm. and tilt his head a little bit facing her and keep her position still looking straight in the camera mm -hmm. area, like even just moving those little uh, things would set this uh, up to be a little bit better. Just 
just those little things, just moving him a little bit to the side, tilting his head uh, more facing her, and then moving her just a little bit more towards the, the clock. Just a little bit. Yep. Yeah. I would put her in the place of the clock, but yeah, I, I think honestly, yeah. like I think I think more I'm just just thinking about this now, I would suggest more people start out like doing some close up portrait shots of figures to begin with. Look up portrait lighting. Like you've got Frequent this is lighting. paramount lighting on this on this vampire and it looks great. Like if you I just drop it on the head and shoulders, it's a really nice shot. You know what I mean? It's lit really well and she looks great. Um, yeah. with the blue and everything you got going on here. I would love to see more of that. I think it's a mm -hmm. good way to learn how to light things and how light works off yeah. different surfaces and stuff like that before you get into doing major scenes with multiple characters and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. It's yeah, good I stuff, though, Cloud. I'd love to see more from you in the future, and I'd love to see you revisit this and play with the camera. Oh, yeah. Don't stop. Twitter. I'd love to yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah, don't stop. All right. Moving on, we got uh, probably one more. Yes. Because it's getting a little late here. Um, Winzilla! Ooh. Okay, that's nice. This is a cool Ooh, uh, Iron Man. It? That's the Silver um, Centurion. This one apparently was, was inspired by my Iron Man shot, is what he says here. Obviously. Well, no, he, he literally <laughs> says that here. <laughs> oh. I took the Iron Man shot. He's like, oh, i got to shoot my Iron Man. So, <laughs> so he should emulate me. He just wanted to shoot his Iron Man. Wow. What do you think it's due, Trevor? <laughs> what, what homework? What are we talking about? <laughs> Did I assign homework? <laughs> well, we were just talking about that shot. Yeah. <laughs> do you, you do you whenever you want. I don't. I don't tell people when to get things done. <laughs> yeah, the chest react. The lighting. I mean, photoshopping the, these effects on them are hard. I mean, like I, when mm -hmm. I did the hand, I, I wasn't completely happy with it. I mean, you guys were already putting holes in in the whole. Like, should the light be hitting them in the face too from the hand? I mean, the repulsor. So, I mean, <laughs> um, actually, it's not all easy, fun, and games, but. Um, you guys just remember, like, whatever your light source is going to be the hottest point, and then out from there, it's going to branch out to a further and further kind of uh, fade, um, depending on how far you want to go. But, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? I think the lighting is great, honestly. Like, shooting Iron Man figures is always tricky because of how reflective they are, but I feel like he's got a pretty nice reflectiveness going on here. It's not too much. All the highlights are not, you know, overblown. And yeah, I do agree. The uh, arc reactor could use a little work. Um, like it's just got the blue glow, but it doesn't actually have anything, like actually lighting up. Um, so I think that's the problem. But I think yeah, that's about it. Yeah, um, yeah. I agree with Matthew. I think uh, I think the yeah. face could be brighter. Um, right. That's that's my only. He's got a nice hot, you know, light over here, just not going around that far. So he's got a nice ring, rim on the outline of the nose. Is that so... the actual sh sharper of the two eyes? Is that one? I can't tell. It looks the farther it's one away. It looks to be looks to be sharper. I don't know. <laughs> the lighting's not really helpful. I agree with I agree with with Trevor that I think the lighting needs to come up a little bit on his face at least. Um, mm -hmm. Is it me or is it like this uh, image has like a, a kind of like a tint on it, possibly? Green is sort of a yeah, yeah, like a yeah. filter a almost. Cinematic filter, or something. A cinematic filter. Yeah, it looks like it might have a cinematic filter. Yeah, sometimes those cinematic filters will mute all the the light sharpness that That's what they do. Yeah, or would uh, pop on this because I don't like using that. Uh, often anymore like i used to um because i used to use extra hot hot light um and it will di dim it down a bit just because you know you can blind yourself by looking at the photo mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it was a good photo to begin with but just all those lights being super super yeah. bright but in this case um i think it without the filter it probably would have done a, a a little bit more justice just so that you could see the light in the face because it's already um, dim enough. It doesn't have like spot on light on the face except for the um, the rim light that goes across his uh, left side of his face. 
Yep. that what are you right? using here, Trevor? What is this? So this is a dodge tool, and we did we did this last week, but uh, gray an adjustment layer. layer so that you can turn that on and off, and it's not you know if you want to go back in and touch it up a little bit, you're not doing it raw on the on the on the actual photo. You're you're preserving the photo, and you can just turn that on and off and see you know what you like. Maybe you went too far with something. You can take there it you down. Go. Just so you made a gray a layer, bit. right? And you're dodging. Yeah, fifty percent gray. gray. So you go into your colors. You just go up here with HSB, and you make you know B fifty percent. Or you can do 128, 128, 128 with RGB if it's a little <clears> longer. But uh, fill a new layer right on top of your picture with that. It's going to look like that. You change your layer uh, opacity to um, soft light, mm -hmm. and then you don't you don't see it at all. It just it's just it just disappears. But anything you apply to that, in terms of dodging and burning, um, is going to just it's going to affect the photo. But it's not going to affect the layer, the photo layer yeah, itself. The actual photo um, layer, so yeah, if you yeah. want to bring that out a little, I don't think I would have brought that out a little too much. I, I wouldn't have done too much of this except for the face. I think the, the face, face yep. just needed to be. It's the face. And I think, yeah. like Lou was saying, I think some of the, uh, you know, the the um, uh, color grady color grades and stuff like that kind of like maybe mess with that a little bit. The other thing I did was a curve layer, um, and I do this with every shot. So. If you take your curves, you, you do a curve layer. I think we did this last week too. Um, this also is your this set guy. your white points. Mm -hmm. So take hold down option on the keyboard and drag the white uh, triangle all the way over, all the way over, all the way over until you get something that looks like super white. Like you're, it's probably going to be right up in his head right here. You know what I mean? Like there's a this is probably your highest brightest point yep. of the shot. Sample that. Just take that and then see I see how that changes that already. Like yep. boom. Um, now it doesn't have to stay that way. If you like it darker, we can go back to that. But then you take the black eyedropper, take the black uh part of the histogram and bring that in until you get something really whoops. Am I holding that option? What happened? Oh, what was my uh oh I didn't I deselected the brush the, the eyedropper until you see like a black, dark black area, and then pick, you know. The first thing usually that pops up is where you want to grab. Uh, go into auto options. <clears throat> and then you're going to see, like, look at the difference between these different enhance per channel mm -hmm. contrast, fine, dark, and light colors. So this is going to, you know, brighten up your shot a little bit. Uh, this, and then snapping to neutral midtones. Look at how that changes it. Yep. Like, that oh, takes wow. all that color grading, like, out of it. Like, you may not want to do that, but that, like, brings it back to almost like a neutral. Um, it's going to react differently for different photos, but yeah. I would say like, mm -hmm. you go something like this. You want to keep that greenish tone to it, but look at how much. And then take down the opacity if you don't want that much of it. You know, just take it down. You can even put a mask on this. There already is a mask. Let's say you want to keep that green in the background, um, but not in the foreground. You could take it out of the, you know, out of Tony. Um, or actually the, the reverse of that. Actually, you'd want to like darken up that background a little bit, keep Tony bright. But yeah, I mean, stuff like that. These are two good things to do. Curves are, are great. Curves are, the, the, the percent finding the nice highlights and, and, and dark points of your shot and, and allowing it to sort of like, you know, do a little contrasty work for you. Uh, but yeah. that's, you know, that's, that's, it. that's freaking awesome. Winzilla, I hope you learned something because I just did. <laughs> All right. With that, I think we're gonna end the uh, the critiquing. Yep. Start up next week uh, where we left off. Um, Only forty more to go this week, and then we'll have <laughs> thirty more next week. <laughs> Telling you now, <laughs> we're gonna have to do like a marathon day where we just do like <laughs> four hours of this like, to get through and catch up. Maybe um, we need to do a, a four hour show once a month. <laughs> stop posting. No, <laughs> and there's your thank you, Trevor. There you go. Um, these are the shirts, by the way. If you guys are just tuning in, these are the shirts that we got, uh, or at least I got. We don't have a channel shirt yet. Um, so this is new, just added this one. I'll have a print of this one in the next week or so. It's already shipped out. Um, and then the other new one for OG fan with Star Wars, just Star Wars. We have Arena Fett because that's what he asked for. So yeah, guys, get on it if you want one. And if you're a member, you can put down in the members uh, community tab 
uh, what ones you might want to see. Lou, I expect you to get that last Ronin one. The last Ronin, of course, I'm going to get the last Ronin one, man. It's Turtles, baby. It's always That's Turtles. But I got to get the catalog. I got to get you a catalog of shirts. That's the thing. I need to get the catalog oh, of shirts. Yeah, all of them. No, 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 because I need to get my shirt, my pictures on them. So I just want to take your picture there and then put my picture right on top of this one. Like a big, big F you, <laughs> yo. JP <laughs> Rex says, I'll take my Christmas shots during Christmas, so we'll go through them mid January. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. January is generous. That's probably Ponchy's a said, marathon stream, you guys, taking shots one at a time while everyone else is talking. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. That's, sim that's something similar to what we did, uh, Maz, a while back. Remember? Yeah, where I, I talked you through the shot, so we got the shot. Yeah, because I'm like, all right, tough you to tell do, me man. what you want. Tell me what it you is. want. But, but, but not for him to do it. It's more of each individual person is adjusting a shot while we're talking. Mm. And then taking good. a shot. Mm. You know, like doing yeah, a long take shot. shot. You got to take a shot. Yeah. Well, no, I, I'm already doing that. <laughs> you don't work tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, gonna work tonight. I'm going to work tonight, but I'm going to work tonight on my Friday like this. Oh. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Well, what do you got going on, guys, man? Trevor, you had your toy photo bomb last night. Yeah, it was great, man. Go check it out. Uh, it was a really yeah, good episode. Good with some really good yeah. stuff to look at. Um, toy photo bomb. Now, how does that and work exactly? How do you? How do you? How do people get involved in that? Like, how do they get seen uh, or whatever? What, okay, so you do? oh to to oh to get involved in and be seen, it's kind of like what you have now. I, I started up toy photo bomb, one word, B O M, no B at the end, just best of the month, B O M. Um, toy photo bomb on Instagram, and you can just tag toy photo bomb. Um, again, I keep saying like this is, it's different than this, and that you know this is more to help out people, you know, and critique and stuff like that. This is like, put your best stuff up there, and it you know kind of watch the show first and see what's going on before you're posting, you know, seven different shots because, you know, you think might one of these might stick. Like, this is good stuff, man. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I'm uh, not trying to be a jerk about it, but, I mean, this is the best of the best, best of the month, so. Uh, but feel free and feel free to, like, tag somebody else's work that you see um, be with with my name or whatever just to bring it attention to me because I would love to follow new people who are who are great, you know what I mean, who are doing really good stuff or interesting stuff, so um definitely do that too yeah but um yeah it's fun and then um, mike you're you're just starting to stream and, and do more stuff on your youtube right what do you got going on me no the other uh, one <laughs> well <laughs> well i mean i i have my patreon that i started uh yeah you know that's, that's about the new thing that i'm doing but but What's yeah, on that? Tell people. Cool. Like maybe come over. Well, I mean, if you're interested in STL files, what I do on there is everything that's related to to what I do: 3D printing, uh, making stuff out of foam, photography, uh, tips and 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 hints and things like oh. that. Uh, I offer free STL files, and then I do tutorials on how to paint those files, uh, how to rust, how to do different weathering stuff like that. So it's a little bit more in, in, involved than what I do on YouTube. So. Uh, if you join that, it's like 10 bucks a month, but you get access to everything. You get a welcome kit with a postcard and sticker and, and, uh, lots of different things in, in there. So, you know, uh -huh. and that's, uh, yeah, I think it's just and insightful I'll, imagery is what the Patreon is. I think so. Yeah, well, yeah, your, your stuff's, uh, well, your Patreon, I don't know, is in the uh, description, but your YouTube channel is. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you can sign yeah. up yeah. Patreon through there, right? Uh, there's a, okay. yeah, it's in my Instagram profile, uh, uh under the link tree. Yeah. I'll get your link tree later and make sure to update. Yeah. So we're right not on. using just your individual links. We'll use your. That's yeah, worth it for the files. And Mike's like a, an amazing like weatherer and paint, you know, painter and the rust that he's talking Thanks. about to learn how to do that kind of stuff is awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Like the only thing is got to boggle him, him is a Doctor Doom chair. That's the only problem. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Well, Mons, you you better fix it. <laughs> there you go. Just send it to me. I'll do my best. <laughs> um, no doubt. Uh, Harry, you got anything going on, man? Uh, no, just trying to get back, you know, into shooting more. Um, just trying to set up just bigger things, not just hey, one figure in front of a screen like that's it. Just and got really that. old really quick. So yeah, I'm just trying to set up more diorama setups. Um, I'm gonna try and build more. Um, I'm finally setting up my 3D printer again. So. 
Yeah. I really want to print actual diorama. Are, are you going to print stuff with that? Because oh yeah, I, well, no. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to set up the 3D printer just to look at it. Well, Austin. I mean, you bought it a year ago. <laughs> That's what Maz does. He set his up. Throw it away. <laughs> well, it, might you know, have, it failed me too many times. Yeah. It cost me more money than it cost me to buy it. So right. yes, I threw it away. But no, mine, uh, mine's doing okay. So I'm going to actually uh, set up. You know, some. Maybe you can make my chair. You get a bigger build plate. I do have a, a pretty big one. I don't know how big Mike's is, is but he, well, yours is probably better suited for this Doctor Doom chair. I have a resin printer. It's only eight by five. The build plates. Oh, okay. I've got a I've got a tall Z axis, but but uh, you'll, you if you got an FDM printer, that's going to be what you need for the. I, no, I, I have a resin printer too, actually. Oh, but it's a bigger, okay. but it's a, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a big. That's what yeah. she said. Yeah, he's, he spent some money <laughs> on it. That's why we have Lou here. <laughs> Toy Merge, oh, yeah. Jack. What's up, Toy Merge? What's going on, Toy Merge? Papa, what you got going on, man? What you got going on? Uh, oh, so well, more pictures by next week? Yeah. I should have more pictures, but I'm I'm in the. So I finally got my my mailers to be able to ship out the print. So I'm gonna. I should have my Etsy up soon. Uh, if people want to buy the prints that I have, um, and of course I'll be shooting more photos. Um. And I have some other plans that I'm trying to <clears throat> like work out the kinks and see if I can do some more lives either on Instagram or on YouTube. I'm still working out how I'm going to do that. If I do YouTube, I'm trying to figure out what day will work best during the week. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's just shooting and shooting and shooting. <laughs> so. yeah. Rock on, rock on. So you, you also squared away a new guest for us. Yes, you want to that? So Monday, I mean Monday, Tuesday of um, the second, we should have a guest. Um, uh, actually, she'll be a guest tomorrow on the Toy Daddies. Um, uh, why can't I think of the name now? She's um, Lost in Translation. Lost in Translation's photo, yes. So yeah. she'll be a guest uh, January 2nd awesome. uh, on here. Uh, I love her work. If I'm not sure if everybody's familiar with her on the chat, but I would recommend go check her workout. Well, she's her lighting. Like she started with portraits over toy photography first. So yeah, I mean, no, her I was going through her Instagram like fully because I've I've been following her, but when you mentioned we got her, I was like, well, let me familiar, familiarize myself with everything. And yeah, like you go down. Her lighting is fantastic on her shots. Like it's it's yeah, it's it's amazing. So yeah, um, yeah, she'll be on the show uh, on the second of January. She'll be on. Toy Daddy's tomorrow, uh, which I'll be on there as well. Mm. Um, so catch that tomorrow oh, night as well. Some translation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her work is great. Yeah, I love her I, work. I know. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, guys. Awesome, man. All right. Well, Sweet. I think that's all we got for tonight. Anything else, guys? Before we go. All right. Good talk. Guys. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> all right, guys. With that, get out of here. Have a great night. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, 